Chapter 21. The Appraiser, Working Overtime. Orally coins are generally divided into 100 phallus, 1,000 phallus, and 1,000 phallus, which correspond to gold coins of different sizes. All of Bell's goblin knives sold for a total of 26.4 million phallus. Of course, even so, the guild still has a large portion of its profits. The amount of 100,000 ferris is actually very small. After all, the goblin knife is only slightly inferior to the low-level weapons. After recycling, even if it is sold for 150,000 fails, some people will want it. Agena also made the point, and Bell didn't think there was anything wrong with it. There must be a price difference between buying and selling, and there is no reason why the repurchase guild will not make money. With a large sum of money, Bell still quietly left the guild. Given the need to help Bell keep the secret, Agena had given Bell the repurchase money before the identification. Of course, the identification work in this room began after Bell left. Agena walked out of the private room and came to the main hall of the guild. At this moment, due to time constraints, the guild can hardly see the adventurers doing their work. This time was just right for Agena. Fallis, there are some things in the room that you need to identify. At this moment, the appraisers of the guild were resting leisurely in their seats, and suddenly, they all stood up when they heard Agena's words. Everyone knows that secret talks are held in that room, and most of them are transactions where appraisal work cannot be done outside. But, did Ina walk in with someone just now? Because Bell was already wearing a trench coat and hood when he walked into the guild, and he was not very conspicuous, few people noticed that Bell had entered that room. In addition, Agena walked out of the room after Bell had left for a while, so everyone in the guild almost forgot that there was such a person as Bell. But the appraisers are not very concerned about this issue. After all, it is a secret room transaction, and it was set up because the seller or the goods were not good. Things like not knowing the identity of the seller are also common, which is nothing new in the guild. A few appraisers walked to the room with ease and closed the door. Internal transactions are not allowed to be seen from the outside, and naturally the transactions inside are also well prepared for a complete set of confidentiality measures. The appraiser also knew the rules, so he closed the door after entering the room. But after entering the room, several appraisers were frightened by the pictures inside. The floor of the entire room is covered with the same type of daggers. A dense pile, if you accidentally touch it, you may have to lie down and leave. The blade was covered with cold light, and a weapon with such sharpness that was visible to the naked eye really couldn't be touched casually. The appraiser, who had recovered from the shock, crouched down, picked up a short knife, and looked at it for a while. The condition of the blade is very good, and the blade is quite clear. It does not look like it has been used. And the appraiser also judged the origin of the short knife. These are goblins' knives? No way. The peer appraiser picked up a handful in disbelief. After looking at it carefully for a while, he got the same answer as goblin knife. And he saw that the short knife in his hand was very new. It should have just exploded not long ago. So many goblin knives? Usually, the explosion rate is very low, and you may not see one for a few months. What happened this time? With so many short knives with similar shapes on the ground, the appraiser instantly understood what this transaction was about. Just know that they know but they are also quite speechless. The two short knives they saw were of good quality, and they were both just released. As long as the guild changed hands and sold it, it would be a lot of money. However, there are too many short knives here. It was so densely packed that it was hard to count. The two, oh appraisers paused, and they realized what they were here for. But they realized that their faces were a little pale. Ina, these, shouldn't they all be identified? The work of identifying magic stones is very easy, and the general drops of monsters are also very easy, but weapon drops are often the most difficult. Because the appraisal of weapons requires more attention, the prices of weapons of different grades are different, so this also causes the appraiser's pain. After all, that's the job of an appraiser. It's just that the two appraisers still have the only hope. But Ina gave the two a lovely smile mercilessly, 
and said the words that let the two appraisers go into the abyss. The appraisal of weapons is a very important job, and this is also a very important transaction for the guild. Therefore, the appraisal work will trouble you. After speaking, Ina walked out of the room directly. According to regulations, the appraiser who conducts the appraisal cannot go out until the appraisal is completed. Therefore, the two appraisers already in the room definitely don't have to eat dinner on time. The two appraisers in the room looked at each other blankly. Just left us here? Obviously, Aegina directly pitted us. It's not allowed to leave here before the appraisal is complete. Give it up. Neither of the two appraisers are newcomers. They both know the rules. Just looking at the goblin knives that filled the room and their silence. Hey, Aegina hurt us this time. Forget it. Such a big deal is not bad for us appraisers. After the appraisal work is completed, we will also get a part of the commission. It's just the appraisal. I'm a little tired. The appraiser sighed helplessly. It's not that he didn't know about this kind of thing, but there were too many goblin knives in the room. The meticulous appraisal work obviously cannot be done in an hour and a half, and in terms of quantity, it seems that it will not end until tomorrow. These two poor appraisers must have become the victims of this transaction. However, the rewards given to these two appraisers afterwards are also quite a lot. After all, it is inevitable to give the appraiser a certain commission for such large orders and large transactions. It's just that this job has more overtime work. In a sense, this kind of commission can also be regarded as a kind of overtime pay. Aegina, who left the room, breathed a sigh of relief and whispered, sorry to the room when she turned back to the room. It's just that Aegina doesn't have so much time on this issue and she still needs to do some secretive handling of this transaction. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 22. Bell is really a good boy. With today's harvest, Bell returned to the ruins of the church. Seeing the people standing outside the ruins of the church, Bell immediately quickened his pace and ran over. Mr. Bell. Naturally, the one standing outside waiting was Hestia, who had always been worried. She has been worried at home since Bell went out in the morning. This is the first time her child has entered the dungeon. She may be worried that something will happen to Bell. Now that Bell was back safely, her worries were finally put down. He rushed towards Bell with a sense of relief, and before he could react, he immediately hugged him. The two slimes slammed into Bell's stomach. That feeling is so clear that it even has a general outline across the clothes. Even Bell, who was calm, couldn't hold back for a moment. It's not that his patience with women is too low, it's mainly that the Lord God is too good. Um, it's real Belkin, not some ghost. That firm touch made Hestia confirm that it wasn't her fault that made her feel wrong. He put his hands on his heart involuntarily, and the heart that had been hanging all the time could finally be put down. Lord God, I said that I will definitely come back from the dungeon, and I can still handle the first floor of the dungeon. Well, Mr. Bell, it's not a question of whether you can handle it. Even if you know you can handle it, you should worry about it. Glancing at Bell, Hestia felt a lot more at ease now. It's fine as long as Bell can come back. Belkun, how did it feel to go to the dungeon for the first time today? It's also important to listen to your family's first dungeon experience. As a god, she was the one who was rejected by the dungeon, and she would never have the experience of entering the dungeon no matter what. Hestia also wanted to learn about the dungeon from Bell's mouth to satisfy her curiosity. I feel the monsters in the dungeon are stronger than I imagined. Speaking of dungeons, the first thing Bell thought of was the goblins who kept killing today. Those guys are intelligent, and they will choose to besiege when they know they can't beat them. The tricks that have been seen cannot be easily used a second time, and those guys will easily become vigilant. The goblins on the first floor are faster and more flexible than ordinary people, and their strength is also extraordinary. If the skin of those goblins can be cut by ordinary short knives, I want to kill those goblins. Goblins will be difficult. And those goblins have a certain amount of intelligence, 
the tricks that you use once to fool them the second time are not very useful. Wisdom? Hestia's eyes widened at the word. She couldn't believe her ears. She heard from Bell's mouth that the goblins possessed a certain intelligence. Hestia looked at Bell seriously and confirmed it again and again. Mr. Bell, are you sure it's not your feeling that is wrong? Probably not. I clearly use the same method in battle, but the goblins who saw me using that method immediately countered my actions. I think this should be a sign of some wisdom. Bell didn't know if it was, but he judged yes from the actions of the goblins. Those goblins definitely have intelligence. It's just that Bell wasn't sure that the wisdom was only temporary during the battle, or that the monsters born in the dungeon all possessed a certain wisdom. Hestia fell silent after hearing this. If it's true what Bell said, then the goblins do have a certain intelligence. But how did this happen? Monsters should be creatures without any intelligence. If monsters have a certain level of intelligence, doesn't that mean that monsters are no different from humans? The reason why adventurers can freely kill the monsters in the dungeon is because those monsters do not possess any wisdom. Monsters threaten all civilians on this land. If the monsters are not killed, the civilians themselves may die. But if monsters possess a certain level of wisdom, and may even develop to the wisdom of commoners on the ground, then are adventurers really pure monsters when they kill those monsters? Hestia didn't know the answer. She didn't dare to think about it. After all, Hestia herself wasn't sure whether this would really happen in the dungeon. But what if there was such a day? Hestia stared straight at Bell. Bell Kun. What if the monsters in the dungeon have the same intelligence as humans in the future? Bell shook his head slightly. Whether that was the case, Bell didn't know, but he didn't think it was a difficult problem to deal with either. Lord God, this was decided the moment I became an adventurer. There is no enemy standing in front of me, so I will ignore it. The enemy standing in front of me, sooner or later, I will cross over. It's really simple. The world Bell used to live in has long since ruined its morals because of, you didn't bump into it, why did you help it, and he has long since discarded the things like helping old people cross the street that he learned in elementary school. Morality will be targeted by morality, so Bell has long learned to be a cold person. The old man lying on the ground? Does it have anything to do with me? Since it has nothing to do with me, why should I help? If intelligent monsters do appear, the only way to deal with them is to use the same attitude as adventurers. If those monsters are trying to trouble me, then I will not show mercy to them. Of course, if they help me, then I will choose to help them, regardless of whether I will be stabbed in the spine or not. Bell looked at Hestia's stunned look, and he didn't know if his answer was too good. So he scratched his face and asked, Lord God, is there something wrong with my answer? Hestia returned to God and smiled with relief. Sure enough, Mr. Bell is a good boy. With this thought, Hestia also relaxed. She didn't know if the dungeon had such a secret, but Hestia knew that Bell was a man who had already made up his mind. No problem, Mr. Bell. Mr. Bell is a good boy, and it is the most appropriate decision to make such a decision. Good and evil cannot be forcibly distinguished, and good and evil are just a personal statement. Bell, you just need to do well. Just do what you think is the right thing to do. P.S. Ask for collection. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 23, Rapid Growth. Then without further ado, Mr. Bell, let's update your data. It is also a very important part to let the Lord God help to update the data. The update of the family data can more clearly confirm the strengthening of the strength. Of course, data updates are also a necessary means of becoming stronger, the most important of which is the upgrade and update of its own level. If an adventurer has enough leveling experience but does not ask the main god to help update the data, then the level will never be improved. The data that has been exercised to the extreme at the previous level cannot be easily improved again. Therefore, the update of data is necessary and very important for adventurers. For example, data updates that need to be completed by the Lord God often need to be reserved with the Lord God, especially those large families. 
However, there is only one member of the Hestia family, Bell, so there is no need to make an appointment at all. It is Bell's exclusive use. Bell took off his clothes and turned his back to the Lord God. Hestia poked her finger lightly with a needle and drew a vertical line on Bell's back with her blood-stained finger. The tattoo on Bell's back that belonged to the familiar of Hestia glowed brightly as if it were a parameter of Bell's own. Name, Bell Cranal Level 1 Attributes, Strength, G284 Durability, F304 Dexterity, E421 Agility, E474 Mana, F346 Magic, 4-Dimensional Space, Storage, Skill, Personal Training, Precocious, Luck, High Luck. This is a day of growth. Even if Hestia knew that Bell had a rare skill such as Precociousness, the growth rate must be very fast, but growing to this point in just one day was beyond her imagination. It took more than a year for Arari to upgrade to Elvbont 2, the fastest in the past. In addition to the accumulation of advanced experience, attribute training is also included in it. But Bell only took a day to improve from I0 to the current data. In just one day, it has almost reached a level that others may not be able to achieve in half a year, or even several years. At this moment, Hestia once again realized how special the rare skills of the precocious type were. Hestia's eyes dropped. Her eyes were locked on the extra skill after updating the data, the name of the skill known as Heavenly Luck, and the three words High Luck noted later. You must know that the skills of the lucky type are almost at the same level as the skills of the premature type, and they are also rare among the rare. But Bell has both. Seeing this, Hestia began to doubt God. In the days when he faith toss was relying on her, she had never heard that Arari had such a rare skill. If you count Bell's own space magic, then Bell really starts with a special magic and two rare skills. Have I saved the world before? What is the reason for letting Bell Kun join my clan? Hestia also began to wonder if she had done something good in the past. The special relatives of the opening three are too much. Hestia has no doubt that once Bell's skills are leaked, the gods will definitely be watching. After all, Bell is so special. However, since things have come to this point, Bell Kun must not be taken away by other gods. When it comes to robbing family members, almost all gods will do it, and there are too many guys who need to be guarded against. But as long as Hestia ensures that Bell's news is not known to other gods, then the problem is not very big. Hestia was already prepared in her heart to must not let other gods know Bell's data. After processing the data update, Hestia pressed Bell's sad light back into the tattoo. Originally, the data needed to be copied down for Bell to see, but now such a situation would continue to leave traces and cause trouble, so Hestia gave up copying. Instead, use oral. Mr. Bell, the data update has been completed. Um. Hearing the finished Bell put his clothes back on. Turning around, Bell didn't see the data sheet, and he immediately understood why. It seems that his growth rate is too fast in one day, and some data cannot be kept, otherwise it will become a trouble. Hestia adjusted her mood, just watched Bell grow up for a day, and it really scared her enough. She also needs time to adjust her state, otherwise she will be too excited to speak. Well, Mr. Bell, your growth today is far beyond my imagination. All the data have been greatly improved, the lowest attribute is close to 300, and the highest is even more than 400. Ordinary adventurers may not be able to do it, even if they struggle for a year or two. If you continue to grow according to your current situation, you may reach the limit of Love Point 1 in less than a month. But if you want to cross this limit, you need to look for bigger challenges, otherwise you won't be able to gain advanced experience. There is no way to raise your level. The accumulation of ordinary attribute values requires a little accumulation of time. Only after one ability value reaches the minimum D standard and enough advanced experience is accumulated can you be eligible for upgrade. The accumulation of the original attributes is often the most time-consuming for every adventurer, but for Bell, who had accumulated two attributes above 400 in one day, the accumulation of attributes was not a big problem. On the contrary, Advanced experience is the most difficult to obtain. Advanced experience requires defeating monsters stronger than oneself. However, the upper tiers do not possess stronger monsters, so after accumulating stats to a certain extent, 
what Bell needs to do is to break through to the middle tiers. Otherwise, Bell wouldn't be able to accumulate the advanced experience that would allow him to level up. Bell Kun, don't think about such complicated things for the time being. All you need to do now is to accumulate your own attribute values and then accumulate them to the limit first. Challenge monsters stronger than yourself. I will see if there are any. Method. It wasn't impossible for Hestia to do it, as long as I asked that pesky Loki. With that nasty character, as long as she sees her bowing her head, that nasty guy will definitely help in a good mood. Bell looked at Hestia's reluctance, and he knew what the so-called solution was. Combining what he knew, the gods who had the best relationship with the gods on Hestia could quickly come to a conclusion. God Hestia intends to go to God Loki. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books, charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons, immediately rush to recharge, event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 24. The Amazing Number of Drops. Lord God, I don't need to think about these issues yet. I don't think things are at that level yet. Although leveling up is a very important thing, what I need to take is not the way of leveling up that people know about, but the way of leveling up. An unknown upgrade path. Even if you want to upgrade, I think it's best to rely on my personal ability to do it. Bell had decided from the start that even if it was an upgrade, it was best not to let anyone know about it. Your own level can be falsely reported. False reporting is of course not to report one's own level up, but to report one's own level down. Of course, the other side is love. Remember that human love is often the hardest thing to pay off. Once Lord God owes favor to God Loki, the entire family will face the threat of being dominated by the Loki family. And to owe such a favor just for his promotion from Elva 1 to Elva 2, Bell felt that it was not worth it. Moreover, this favor will also affect one's own hidden thoughts, so it should not be done. But Bell, it's very dangerous for you to challenge a stronger monster by yourself. If you have Loki's family watching you, at least you'll be a lot safer. Safety is safe, but what should be exposed and shouldn't be exposed will be completely exposed. And next time, Lord Shangshen will return the favor, or Lord Shangshen will really show support when he faces God Loki next time. I can't stop. Well, Hestia almost thought of the scene where she couldn't raise her head. To be honest, she didn't want to go to that nasty guy Loki at all. Even though he is so great, it is unbelievable that he has to bow his head to that flat. Is she willing to do this for Belle's safety? Otherwise let her bow to that flat? Snort. But Belle is right. If you go to Loki, Belle's situation will be completely exposed. Considering the Belle thing, it really shouldn't be too much contact with Loki. It's not appropriate for Belle to stand in front of too many gods, at least until Belle is fully grown. Seeing that God Hestia had calmed down, Bell continued on the topic just now. Lord God, I'm still in the process of accumulating. It's too early to think about my breakthrough. In addition, Lord God, today I went to the dungeon and found a piece of wisdom that can remove monsters. Matter. And also? Yeah, actually, I didn't know why I was very lucky when I went to the dungeon. Most of the monsters on the first floor were goblins, and I only experienced the atmosphere of the dungeon on the first floor. Then I... When killing goblins, I found out that in addition to dropping magic stones, goblins also drop goblins' knives. Hestia instantly reacted from Bell's words. I just updated the data for Bell and got the second skill, Teon Luck, which is essentially a skill that improves luck. This made Hestia not very surprised. After all, the skills have already appeared. Even if the goblins drop a few weapons, there is no problem. He also knew something about goblins' short sword Hestia. She had stayed in He Faith's house before, so she was naturally sensitive to things like weapons. The goblins on the first floor have very sharp knives, which are a great threat to adventurers, but if dropped, they are also quite good weapons in the early stage. Goblin's dagger, as I remember it, is a very difficult weapon to drop, but if it does drop, then Belkun will not have to change weapons for a long time. Goblin's dagger is for beginner adventurers, very useful weapon, no need to change weapons until at least mid-tier. Naturally, Bell knew this must be a good thing. 
The most expensive place for beginner adventurers to spend is in weapons and potions, which are necessary to go further. Of course, he didn't have much to say. Bell knew that Lord God obviously didn't realize the problem, so he emphasized it. God-sama, you need to be careful. The goblins I mentioned just now don't just drop a few knives. Hestia paused slightly. Is there still a lot of goblin knives? Hestia unconsciously raised such a question, but she remembered that the goblin knives dropped very rarely. Seeing Bell's emphasis on seriousness, Hestia became a little curious. Bell Kun, how many drops are you talking about? 284. Hestia was silent for a while. Covering her face subconsciously, Hestia began to wonder if her ears had heard something wrong. After simply taking a deep breath, Hestia threw the numbers she heard just now and reconfirmed it with Bell. Mr. Bell, what did you just say? 284. Goblin's dagger? Bell nodded slightly. After confirming that it wasn't that she heard it wrong, Hestia couldn't help but screamed, Hey! Anyone who hears the number of drops will be surprised, and it is natural to even make a sound of consternation. However, after being shocked, Hestia also recovered a little from the shock. So many? All of them are goblin knives? Bel Kun, what the hell did you do in the dungeon today? The number of 284 goblin knives is too exciting. It made Hestia really wonder what Bell did in the dungeon today to drop so many goblin knives. Bell actually didn't know what he was doing until he came out of the dungeon. He didn't enter the dungeon with any special idea today. At most, he just experienced the atmosphere inside the dungeon and prepared for entering the second floor or even the third floor in the future. Killing goblins was because those guys appeared in front of him, and it just so happened that he also planned to hone his skills. As for how there are so many drops, in fact, even Bell himself is not sure about this issue. He tried his best to kill the goblins when he conserved his strength. On the one hand, it is to see what level of personal training can be achieved, and on the other hand, it is to prepare to accumulate a sum of money that can be drawn. Who knew that in just one day, he killed so many goblins and dropped so many goblin knives? In fact, Bell is innocent of Hestia's question. Lord God, I actually didn't do anything. I just wanted to kill a few goblins to familiarize myself with the atmosphere of the dungeon, collect some magic stones and make some money. Then I killed a lot of goblins without realizing it. A lot of goblin knives dropped. Hestia held her chin without any help. Although she is a god just starting out for Orari, she knows a lot about dungeons. Of the 284 goblin knives, the worst was to encounter 284 goblins. This number is not a small number, but how can there be so many goblins on the first floor? The number of drops is an issue, as is the number of goblins. But Hestia was quick to put those questions aside for the time being. In any case, Bell came back safely, even if he encountered a few more goblins. Let's not talk about that, Mr. Bell. A few more drops are always good anyway. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation, celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday, and reading books, Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 25. The Guild is a Big Colander. It's just those goblin knives. You won't send them to the Guild, will you? Hestia was smiling as she spoke. It seemed to Hestia that Bell would definitely not sell that kind of thing to the Guild. After all, if a place like the Guild gets rid of those things, the gods may soon know about Bell. But this kind of thing should not be in Hestia's opinion. Bell, this child is very cautious and careful and will definitely not do such a careless thing. Hestia was right. If it is true, people who have some life experience in the city of Orari will find a way to find other channels to get rid of, especially those things that will be noticed once they get rid of it. The problem is that Bell has only been in Orari for two days and he still has too little experience in some special situations. So Bell got caught. Hearing what the Lord Hestia said, Bell felt really blushing. He was really stupid and went straight to the guild with so many goblin knives. Instead of thinking about the channel to go to God through he faith, he planned to deal with all those things through the guild. This also left Bell speechless for a while. Hestia laughs for a while and doesn't hear any sound from Bell, which makes her laughter subside. Then he looked at Bell, who was blushing strangely, and Hestia's face twitched. 
but she had to ask. Mr. Bell, you won't send those things to the guild, will you? Um, Hestia's eyes widened. She couldn't believe her ears. How could Bell, who has always been calm, make such a low-level mistake? Did he not know? Although the guild is an organization, its internal structure is no different from a sieve. Anyone who wants to know something can be pulled out of the guild. Bell Kun, don't you know? A place like a guild sells information. They not only sell information about dungeons, but also some information within the guild. That is, information that can't be said casually, usually as long as it is beneficial. They'll get the information out. Lord God, I've only been here for two days. Oh, forgot, Bell was just a newcomer from the country to Ulully. Hestia slapped her face directly. Because Bell didn't act like a newcomer at all, she subconsciously regarded Bell as someone who should know those things. Hestia knew that it wasn't Bell's fault, that this kind of thing should be reminded by her as the main god. But things on the guild side are troublesome. God knows if someone in the guild already knew about it and told other gods about Bell. If this is the case, then Hestia will feel a headache. Seeing Hestia's tangled face, Bell was also a little embarrassed. In fact, when he was dealing with these things, he thought of the guild subconsciously, mainly because it was the first time he experienced such a thing, and forgetting that the guild was also a big problem. Miss Agena said the same to him just now. Thinking of Miss Agena, Bell suddenly reacted. Lord God, I also asked Miss Ina to help me when I went to the guild just now. Because of the goblin knife, I also let Miss Ina know about some of my circumstances. Aina Zul? The guild's ace receptionist. The image of Agena Zul immediately appeared in Hestia's mind. She knows that the other party is a half-elf because she has also been in contact with the other party recently. That half-elf wasn't a bad guy, and he was serious about people, but Hestia didn't expect that half-elf to be Bell's receptionist. Does it really matter? I've seen that half-elf too, but I'm not so sure if it can help you keep a secret. Bell Kun, you'd better not believe everything about the guild. There are quite a few guilds. The receptionist of the guild will sell some special news, which is one of the reasons why Uranos told the receptionist of the guild not to contact the adventurers too much. It turns out that there are some problems with the guild's receptionist and the adventurer being too close. Hestia remembered that he faith said that the guild had encountered such a problem at the beginning of its establi, Schment, and finally cleaned the receptionists in the guild. That is, after that, the guild had very clear rules for receptionists. Of course the rule is dead, but man is alive. Even if the receptionist can't be very close to the adventurer, it is not said that the receptionist can't be very close to the gods. So there are still many receptionists who will inadvertently reveal some secrets that need to be kept. That's not a leak, it's just a very ordinary chatter that was accidentally overheard by the gods. Because it was a loophole, the receptionist would not be punished even if it was finally investigated. That is, after the first case began, the latter cases appeared one after another. That is to say, from that time onwards, some information that they want to investigate will be asked by the gods when they are in contact with the receptionist. After getting the information, the gods will also give the receptionist some information fees. But that is not called intelligence fee. That is ordinary work labor fee, not even bribery. So knowing the operation of the guild from Hefaith Tos, Hestia regarded the guild as a big colander. Once the secret is known to the guild, then you must be prepared to risk being exposed by the guild at any time. Although Hestia was still worried, Bell had confidence in Miss Agena. Lord God, Miss Agena should help conceal it. She had already told me those things when she was in the guild, and she also said that selling the goblin knife to the guild would reveal my identity. Ina Dixie also said to help conceal it. I don't think it should be a problem this time, but in the future I will need the help of Lord God. Hestia was still a little worried about that Agena. She trusted Bell, but she didn't trust the guild's receptionist. After all, the guild was a big colander, so how could she believe that the receptionist over there could help Bell keep it a secret? Hestia still suppressed this worry. Even though she was a little worried about that Agena in her heart, Hestia still didn't want Bell to start worrying about this. 
Afterwards, she had to meet with that Aegina, or at least make sure in person that Aegina had taken care of Belle's affairs. P.S. Ask for collection. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to read event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 26. Cooperation with He Faith Toss Family. Mr. Bell, how many Ferris did those knives sell for? Hestia suppressed the worry and anxiety about Aegina in her heart and began to turn to the final sale price. Of course, there is also the final form of processing that needs to be asked. Although Hestia didn't know much about the inner workings of the guild, she was still a little more knowledgeable than Bell, and she could make a general judgment in terms of form. One dagger was acquired for 100,000 Phyllis. All 264 daggers were sold, except for the 20 that I kept, for a total of 26.4 million fails. So much! Hestia wasn't completely clueless about money either. She also had the concept of money when she was eating and drinking at Hefeith's side, and it was because of this that Hestia had a better understanding of what Bell had done. You know, this kind of income is just a day's work for Bell. If you continue to work hard, don't you have everything? Looking at Lord God's glowing eyes, Bell had to remind Lord God. Maybe he has gained a lot today, but that doesn't mean that every day is the same. Lord God, I think it's better for you to calm down first. The reason why I have such a big gain today is due to the goblin's short knife. The use of that knife is not very restrictive, because it is a goblin wielder on the first floor. There are weapons, but they are also exceptionally sharp and even have the sharpness to fight against middle-level monsters, which makes the price of goblin knives so expensive. If you go to other layers, as long as the dropped items are not sharp weapons, then wouldn't have sold at such a high price. Hestia's brain, which had just heated up, calmed down a bit. After reacting, she also knew the reason. After all, sharp and easy-to-use weapons for Live One adventurers are the key. Without such conditions, the price of upper-level drops sold to the guild would not be too high. Unless Bell just kills goblins on the first floor every day, it is unrealistic to rely on this to accumulate a lot of wealth. And once a huge number of goblin knives began to appear inside Orari, it would be too obvious. One may be said to be accumulated in the past, but if there is a second and third time, it will be found on Bell's head sooner or later. Considering the risk of exposing Bell's secrets, Hestia gave up the idea of getting rich this way. Lord God, in addition to this, I think we should establish a long-term cooperative relationship with God he faith toss. Hestia's eyes lit up instantly. Listening to Bell's summary report today, Hestia felt that she had a better chance of persuading he faith toss. Although he faith toss has no shortage of drops, especially those from the upper layer, but he faith toss's group size is still quite large, and it is definitely not a bad thing to have more forging materials. And those forging materials are not only available to he faith toss's family, other family members can also buy it. In the city of Orari, most of the adventurers are level 1. Therefore, even if it is the upper layer material, as long as it has passed the formal construction, it can still produce great benefits. He Faith Toth certainly wouldn't mind having her Hestia familiar one of the drop suppliers. And because of Bell's lucky skills, it is also guaranteed to harvest a large number of drops. As long as He Faith Toth can see Bell's skills, it will be fine. If it were other gods, Hestia would definitely be unwilling. After all, Bell's information exposure will definitely not be good for her. But He Faith Toth, who has long known Bell's two skills, is different. Let he faith Taos trust the identity of their supplier enough, then it means that Hestia can eat and drink at he faith Taos again. Just thinking that she could eat and drink at he faith side again, Hestia glanced at Bell subconsciously. The cute and innocent Bell stood there quietly, her blood-red eyes revealing calmness, like a rabbit waiting for her response. Looking at Bell like this, Hestia's heart was surprisingly calm. Even the feeling the at he can continue to mix and drink has calmed down a lot when he realized just now. That's right, she is no longer the loner she used to be. Now her words and deeds represent the entire Hestia family, as well as Belle, who has just become her own child. 
In front of Mr. Bell, I don't want to appear too decadent. This is the sole majesty of the Lord God as the familiar of Hestia. Hestia didn't know if she still had that majesty in Bell's heart, but she still didn't want herself to appear as lazy as she used to, especially in front of Bell. Cough. It is indeed possible to discuss it with Hefeith Toss. Bell's luck is a skill that is very beneficial to us. If we establish a cooperative relationship with Hefeith Toss, then Belkun will deal with the dropped items in the future. Yes, besides, I can also ask Faith to make a weapon for Lord Bell. Bell was slightly taken aback. He hasn't said anything about weapons from the very beginning until now. How did Lord God think about asking he Faith to make him a weapon? He quickly stopped. Lord God, do you know how expensive the weapons made by God he Faith toss? Maybe ten times all our assets will not necessarily be able to ask that person to build a weapon. Although in the original book, the god of Hestia also asked the god of Hestia to create an upgradable weapon. Although that weapon is also clearly marked with a price of 200 million phallus. But as long as it's a normal person, everyone knows that even 2 billion phallus might not be enough. To put it bluntly, 200 million phallus might just be a material fee. In the original book, he Faith Toss God didn't want any favor, so he directly asked for 200 million Ferris. This is already the face of God Hestia. Or else, just try another God to put forward this condition. God he Faith Toss can definitely put the price above 20 billion Phallus. And is this 20 billion Phallus really expensive? You must know that the 200 million in the original book can grow with the owner. That knife is totally a living being. Then, as long as the owner of the knife reaches level 5, then the knife can reach the level of level 5. Isn't this the same as adding a level 5 for no reason? So, isn't a level 5 worth even 20 billion phallus? What's more, this knife is not only level 5, it can even climb to higher levels. As long as the owner of this knife grows quickly enough, it is possible to reach level 6 or even level 7. If you think about it like this, you will find that Hestia's face is really valuable. P.S. Ask for collection. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 27. He Faith Toss who is suspecting God in the evening. He Faith store closed early today. Normally, he Faith's shop is very lively, and for adventurers, the night is just the beginning of the day. But today's he Faith Toss store is special, because today there are two customers who must be received by he Faith Toss in person. He Faith Toss helplessly looked at the hippie guy in front of him. I just sent this guy out yesterday, but he came back after just one day's work, and he came back with his only family. At this moment, he Faith Toss could feel that Hestia was definitely coming with trouble. After all, having known each other for so many years, this guy pouted, and he Faith Toss knew what fart Hestia was doing. Hestia, did you just leave yesterday? Why did you come to me if you were not at home and summarizing the feeling of going to the dungeon on the first day with your children? He Faith Toss was careful not to follow up. She guessed that Hestia would definitely give her a big boost this time, so he Faith Toss was very cautious from the beginning. He Faith Toss didn't want to be tricked by this idiot. Hestia didn't care about he Faith's cautious look at all, but the cute smile on her face never stopped. There is some smugness in the calculation. Today, Hestia not only came to discuss cooperation with he Faith Toss, but also to show off Belle's situation and Belle's newly awakened skills. Belkun has already told me about the dungeon. After updating the data for Belkun, I brought Belkun with me. He Faith Toss. Guess what Belkun's stats look like? He Faith Toss looked at Hestia's full smile. With just this smile, He Faith Toss must be exaggerating even with her toes to get Bell's stat boost, otherwise Hestia wouldn't deliberately ask her to show it off. However, it is not clear what kind of value He Faith Toss is. Skills with precocious characteristics must grow quickly. With this thought, he Faith Toss already had an answer in his heart. She fixed a rough figure in her mind. I just don't know if Hestia will scare her. The cumulative attribute exceeds 500. Each adventurer has five attributes, and the cumulative accumulation exceeds 500, 
which means that each attribute has an average of 100. He Faith Toss has already magnified that. You must know that no adventurer in the past could have accumulated more than 500 in one day. Hmph, of course not. How could my Belkun be so mediocre? Hestia smiled proudly. Listening to He Faith's guess, it really lived up to her expectations. Hestia knew that He Faith Toss would never guess the growth of Mr. Bell's attributes today. You must know that she who helped update the data just now was frightened. My Lord Bell has grown very fast all day today. Don't be frightened, he Faith Toss. Yes, you can say it. Looking at Hestia's proud look, he Faith Toss didn't have much thought. From the beginning, I knew that Hestia was an idiot to show off, and she didn't hate this kind of behavior. However, when the accumulated stats exceeded 500, Hestia called it mediocre, which made he Faith wonder how much the child Bell had grown in a day. Hum. The worst attribute of Mr. Bell's one-day growth is close to 300, and two attributes even exceed 400. This is Mr. Bell's one-day growth. He Faith Toss couldn't help but be surprised even when she was prepared. The worst attribute is close to 300. There are two attributes that exceed 400, and the remaining two attributes are also above 300. That is to say, Hestia's children accumulated a minimum of 1,700 attribute points in one day. This made Hefaith Toss take some consternation at Bell, who was standing behind Hestia. Just one day's growth has been exaggerated to this point. With that said, in a few months, Bell will grow to the heights that any god would be crazy about. It's no wonder that accumulating 500 attribute points is called mediocre by Hestia. My guess is still too conservative. He Faith Toss was really excited. Even if she doesn't care about the strength of the members of the family, she also hopes that her children can grow up quickly. One day, just one day. Hestia's children have raised themselves to a height that people look up to with their own skills. This also allowed He Faith to confirm once again how perverted the utility of the premature skill was. Especially Hestia, the child's skills, didn't even have any limit. He Faith Toast cast a white glance at Hestia, who was still smug. Since Hestia was laughing like crazy, don't ask what this idiot thinks. He Faith Toss directly asked the client Bell. Tell me, why did Hestia bring you here? Bell bowed slightly. Since this question was asked of him, he took a slight step forward, paid attention to the wording, and answered He Faith's question. He Faith Toss God, Lord God hopes that our Hestia family can have long-term cooperation with He Faith Toss family. Oh, I'm here to find cooperation. He Faith Toss was immediately interested. She wasn't very interested in other things, especially Hestia's mix of food and drink. But if they cooperate, then he Faith Toss is actually quite interested. She really wanted to hear what the cooperation was about, and also wanted to know why she suddenly had the idea of cooperation. He Faith Toss signaled that Bell could continue. Bell saw he Faith's godly look, and he immediately shifted the subject. It's like this. Today, when I came back, Lord God gave me a new skill. It's a skill related to luck, and I exploded 284 goblin knives in the dungeon today. I think I will get rid of monsters in the future. The amount of drops that fall from my body is very large, and I also need a channel to deal with these things. He Faith looked at Bell slightly oddly. One skill and one magic from yesterday was outrageous enough. As a result, after returning from the dungeon today, I woke up with luck-like skills, and even he Faith Tuss felt that it was too much. More importantly, this lucky skill also allowed the child to drop 284 goblin knives. In addition to the weird numbers, this drop rate is also super scary. No wonder Hestia suddenly brought Belle to her store, and after a long time, she came to seek asylum. After understanding the reason, he Faith Tuss is not very opposed. P.S. Ask for collection. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation, celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 28. Beware of that woman. Although Hestia's proud look just made he Faith's teeth itch a little, but at any rate, it can be regarded as getting acquainted with Hestia, and she will not really lose her temper because of this matter. He Faith also knew that because of Belle's speciality, Hestia could only show off in front of her. Hestia didn't have the guts to show off outside, 
or she would be targeted by those guys every minute. I don't have a problem with that, but how did you wake up to that outrageous skill? Lucky type skills are almost identical to the rarest type of skills. If there is a limit to this skill, it is fine. If there is no limit, it is equivalent to increasing one's own life. You must know that even their gods do not have the means to increase their fate. The stronger the lucky skill, the stronger the destiny. But this is just a way of saying that abilities like luck cannot be mastered even by their gods. In a sense, to master luck is to master fate. Of course, he faith also knew that this was just a statement. Hestia's child was outrageous enough to be able to awaken a special skill like luck, space and precociousness first, plus the luck of awakening the next day. This almost encapsulates the most special magic and skills of the entire Arari. Why is this child so special? He faith toast wondered why Bell was an ordinary child from the countryside, but such an ordinary child had awakened completely unusual skills and magic. He faith toes can be considered a god who has been in the nether for a long time. She has never seen such an outrageous child. Bell, who was asked this question, was left speechless. In fact, he is really just the soul of an ordinary person, just a lucky traveler. Personal training is because of the gift equipment reward given by the system. God knows how this kind of play becomes skill-based in the gift system. Four-dimensional space is also the system's own space storage box. It is also a reward for crossing, and it cannot be regarded as the magic of his awakening. As for the so-called heavenly luck, perhaps this is the reason why he was chosen to be a transmigrator. Is it just luck or bad luck? Maybe a matter of opinion. In fact, the skills of the above three characteristics are really what he comes with. There should be no other more nonsense skills in the future. Bell also doesn't think he can awaken other skills. After all, he is very different from the original Bell. God he faith, I am not very clear about this issue. I am just an ordinary person. How do I know how to awaken this kind of skills and magic? He faith nodded nonchalantly. Favor itself is a power system specially developed to accelerate the self-improvement of children in the lower world. The blessings obtained are not under their control, but the awakening of these skills and magic has a special characteristic. That is the essence of the person who receives the favor. None of the gifts given can be controlled, but the more unique a child is given the favor, the more likely that child will acquire special skills and magic. It seems that the essence of this child is still a particularly outstanding type, the essence. Although it is good for Hestia, the more brilliant the essence, the easier it is for that woman to target. He faith toss has begun to worry faintly in her heart. Once the woman sees the essence of Belle's child, she may have the idea of, I want this child. The other gods might not even think that the other gods could see Belle's essence, as long as the child hid himself. But this approach is useless to the woman. Hestia, you'd better be careful with Freya. If this child is targeted by that woman, she definitely wants to snatch this child away with that woman's character. Hestia pursed her lips unhappily. As one of the gods, she naturally knew this. Freya, the goddess of beauty, is one of the twin kings of Orari. It can be said that Hestia is one of the gods that Hestia doesn't want to face directly right now, no matter what means she uses to get her favor. I child. So I don't want Belle to be known by that guy at all. That guy is just a vixen, and any man he likes wants to eat it. My Belle is only a child, so he can't be targeted by that woman. Having said that, Hestia instantly turned around and hugged Belle beside her. Her watery eyes stared straight at Belle. Mr. Belle, you won't be seduced by that woman, will you? Belle, who was hugged, said he was under a lot of pressure. He wished he had the ability to resist charm, but he was really just an ordinary person. If the uncle of the Xingyue system can help, then he can speak more stubbornly. But there is no such sign now. Lord God, the question now may not be whether I will be seduced. It is whether the goddess will use some physical means. Should not be. Hestia was silent for a moment, and her eyes turned to He Faith. He Faith Tos gave a helpless shrug directly. Although many gods have integrity, Freya is the god who has no integrity. As long as it is a child that you like, no matter what means you use, you will grab it. Others won't, and robbing people may use war games. But Freya is not such a quiet guy. 
The child she wants to get is definitely the hope that the child will go to her side willingly, so it is often the case that the woman uses some extraordinary means. Well, Hestia also started to feel less confident now. Freya is a god of beauty, and even if she can't use the power of a god, she has the ability to fascinate people as a god of beauty, that is, power. Because this is not divine power, but a charm, it is not limited. Freya is too much, she can use her power at will in the lower realm. Power? Lord God's angry voice entered Bell's ears. He Faithtos was also a little helpless. Each god has his own power. Although the nether is limited by divine power, the superficial application of power does not require divine power as an aid. Therefore, the beauty gods with charm are all powerful family gods in the lower realm, because they see a child who can be directly plundered with the ability of charm. Power is not limited to the scope of divine power. However, the gods in the lower realm can't go too far. Most of the gods will not use their powers at will, because beyond that degree, the divine power will resonate. Once the gods use the divine power in the lower realm to exceed in range, within a certain range, it will be sent back to the heaven by Uranus. Cut! Why isn't it forbidden? Hestia complained rudely. Since you have already decided to come to the lower realm, don't bring down the part that is a god. This behavior looked like cheating to Hestia. He faith toast just rolled his eyes and rolled his eyes. You think all gods are the same as you? You don't use power, you can't deny other gods, and the right to use power is also given to the gods so that the gods won't come down directly and return to the heaven. Power is poor. Most of the gods have a foothold in the nether world, and even Uranus cannot completely ban them. P.S. For collections? For flowers. For evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books, charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 29. Since it is a cooperative relationship, it is not too much to ask for it. So during this period of time, you should let your children avoid Freya. Freya's family are all children of Lv5, Lv6, and Lv7, and they will not have direct contact with your children. And that woman usually only grabs it if Huayro's approach is unsuccessful, but it won't cause too much trouble if she is simply seen. He Faithtos also knew a little about Freya's character. With that woman's character, if you want to know everything, you want to explore it yourself, instead of relying on the mouth of others. So that woman will only take tough measures if other strategies fail across the board. After all, that woman wants to win the heart of that child more than she wants an excellent child. But you still need to be careful about that woman. Try not to have direct contact, or the woman won't let go easily when she sees the target. He Faith Toss is incapable of helping Hestia to protect Hestia's child when facing Freya. Even being a god requires a little self-knowledge. As long as the gods who came him down from the heavens do not want to face Freya directly, as a goddess, this guy is really not polite at all. However, as long as this child stays in peace, except going to the dungeon, there is a high probability that he will not meet Freya. Although that guy has the ability to see through a person's essence, she has not yet been able to directly target a person. If you don't look directly through your eyes, that guy won't find your child easily. There are too many children in the lower realm of Orari, and it is difficult to simply calculate them clearly. Freya's ability is effective alone. The ability to see through the essence of a person also needs to be locked in by seeing such a person in the vast crowd. So, he Faith Toss didn't think it would be easy to find Bell among so many people. Hestia was said to be quiet, but Bell was the only one who listened and was always nervous. Not because of anything else, just because she knew that Freya, the goddess of beauty, had a trumpet. And the location where the trumpet is located is also a quite famous hotel in the whole Orari. It is because of the existence of the trumpet that Freya has been able to find the dazzling soul again and again. My soul is definitely not bright, and I will definitely not be the target of that beautiful god. Bell could only comfort himself like this in his heart. The existing one magic and two skills are all brought by the luck and system of time travel, and there is nothing of his own. So Bell can be sure that he is not a bright soul, but it is more reliable to say that it is a dark soul. After all, 
the essence of the soul is actually the inner essence of himself. Bell believes that he is not a person with high character, and the essence of the soul will definitely not be too bright. Of course, even so, Bell wasn't going to go to that restaurant. It's okay, he really doesn't want to find something, unless he has been completely exposed. 2. Hestia was also nervous when facing Freya, because Hestia knew that she was not good at facing Freya. She is not a god of words by nature, and Freya is such a god. It is also possible that some unnecessary information was revealed unwittingly. Freya needs attention, but she doesn't need special attention. Under normal circumstances, the chances of Belle and Freya being in contact are still too low. As long as Mr. Bell doesn't go to the gods, as long as Mr. Bell is not so attractive when he advances to leave Bont 2, he won't be targeted by Freya. Bell nodded slightly. In fact, he also thought that as long as he controlled the speed of promotion, he would not attract Freya's attention. After all, he is definitely not a saint like the hero of the original novel, so he will never be favored by Freya because of the essence of his soul. So as long as you control your own promotion speed, then the problem is not big. Although I feel like I'm already full of negative buffs, it's not a big problem. In my situation, the e, e goddess Freya definitely doesn't like it. As long as I have a firm hand and don't expose too much, I can develop steadily. Bell took a deep breath, and the worries he had been worrying all along became much better. Hestia did not continue to worry about Freya's problems, but brought up the business this time. He faith toss, then there will be no problem for our two families to cooperate in the future, right? Since your child has such skills, then I agree. He faith agreed without thinking to Hestia's request for cooperation. She hoped that Hestia would not continue to be a waste, and she naturally hoped that Hestia could develop her family well. Now the cooperation proposed by Hestia is not her unilateral contribution, but a mutual benefit for both parties, so he faith toss has no reason to refuse. The corners of Hestia's mouth immediately raised a slight arc. Establishing an alliance and cooperation relationship is one point, and the next thing is that she wants to use this layer of alliance and cooperation relationship to ask he faith to help. Hestia came to her friend he faith with a flattering smile. Since it's an alliance, can he faith do me a favor? Almost at the same time as Hestia said these words, he faith Tos had an expression of, I knew you were waiting here. Alliance cooperation is one aspect, and request is the main purpose of Hestia. But he faith Tos is not a devil. Let's see if this guy's request is too much. You can talk about it first, but I hope you'd better think about whether you will be thrown out by me before you say it, and then completely cut off your fate with you. He he, actually, it should be a very small thing for he faith toss. Hestia was not worried at all, still smiling, but that appearance made he faith's heart even more vigilant. Because he faith toss knew that the more hippie this guy was, the more demanding she was. Actually, I want you, he faith, to help Bell build a weapon. Well, for the god of blacksmithing, this requirement is not too much. Forging a weapon, this is just a common thing for Arari, but it was too much to ask he faith, the god of blacksmithing, to make it in Hestia. You know, even if you can't use divine power, weapons made by gods are not on the same level as weapons made by ordinary craftsmen. The craftsman's own skills are different, and the level of forged weapons is naturally different. And the skills mastered by craftsmen also means the price that needs to be paid for forging. Hestia directly asked he faith to help, which almost filled the price. If you really want to make it, it is definitely not a first-class weapon that other craftsmen and families can match. He faith toss also looked at Hestia with a speechless expression. At this time, he faith toss confirmed that Hestia's shameless character could not be completely changed in a day or two. Among the gods she knew, only Hestia dared to make such a request to her. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation, celebrating the seven-day national day holiday and reading books, charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 30, Requests as a Friend. God Sama, your request is really too much. Bell, who was standing behind, couldn't help holding his forehead. In fact, before he came, he had blocked this kind of thinking of Lord God. 
The god he faith is the god of forging, and the forging skills he masters cannot be matched by any craftsman in this era. Wanting to ask a god to help build a weapon, to be honest, even Bell, who is a transmigrator, has never had such an arrogant idea. This is not a big heart problem, it is simply a big face. Although Bell estimated that as long as it was a request from the god Sama, he faith would roll his eyes and agree to it after he was overwhelmed. Even after the fact, he just asked Lord God to pay for the material cost of the original work, but Bell still felt that Lord God's request was a bit too much. If it wasn't for the god Sama who really had a lot of face, we would have been kicked out by now, right? Bell was a little worried, and at the same time once again felt that Hestia's face was really great. Many gods in the heavenly world know each other and have a good relationship. Even the god of forging gave a lot of material help because of that friendship. It must have been a friendship that couldn't be more sincere, and at least Bell would never treat anyone so well. He faith Tuss took a deep breath, facing Hestia's request. She silently came to this guy. The eye that was not covered by the blindfold revealed speechlessness, depression, and a desire to show this idiot some color. Spreading her hands, she directly pinched Hestia's cheek. You are the one who dared to talk to me like this in the whole of Orali. He even called to help you build weapons. You can ask other family members, is there any master god who dares to ask me like this? Even Orali's doubly Malakorth, neither Wang Freya nor Loki would make such a request. You really dare. Hestia, whose cheek was pinched, was still smiling. Of course, she knew the value of Hephaethos's shot, and no god had ever called Hephaethos to help build a weapon. Hestia didn't think that she, as a god, could ask Hephaethos like this, but she made this request in another capacity, because Hephaethos is my best friend. That's right, Hestia also knows how to play the friendship card. Hestia knew that as a god, it was not easy to ask Hephaeth to do this. But she did not make this request as a god, but as a friend of Hephaeth Toss, to ask Hephaeth Toss to help build a weapon. Hephaeth Toss was slightly taken aback. That's a really good reason, and it doesn't get any better than this. Not a request made as a god, but a request as a friend. This is a good reason. As a friend's request, it would be too outrageous for me to continue to refuse. Then Hestia, I will accept your request. But don't forget, the forging fee of the weapon is indispensable. Well, definitely not less. Then let's start now. He faith toss glanced at Bell, who was standing behind. The arrival of this child really brought a lot of changes to Hestia, and it only took two days. Hestia has also become the parent of a family, and there are more things to consider. He faith turned around with a smile, turned the hanging ornament on the wall behind him, and the wall immediately made a click sound. The secret room behind this studio has been opened. Inside is the craftsman's workbench, and the fiery fire is still scorching hot. There are hammers made of different spar on the wall next to it. It should be used as an auxiliary for forging. Different hammers use different spar, and different hammers also have different functions. Those dozens of different types of hammers did not look like ordinary goods. Bell doesn't know much, but his eyes aren't drawn either. Can Forge God's workbench be simple? If it is really simple, is this still the God of blacksmithing? Is this the workplace of the God of He Faith? Bell, who saw this room for the first time, also had a lot of emotion in his heart. What he didn't seem to agree to was so easily agreed by God He Faith Toss. Although, uff, he also has to take on the debt of weapons. Bell knows that this debt is definitely the most worthwhile. Bell doesn't really expect anything from weapons. He chose the road of steady development, not the road of one step to the sky. The key is to accumulate your own capital little by little. Two powerful weapons will often bring great convenience, but will also make people lose their fighting spirit. So Bell decided from the beginning that a weapon that could cut through the flesh of a monster would be enough. First grade weapons also need to wait for their own strength to meet the conditions before they can be used. It is not that he uses weapons to kill monsters, but that he has the strength to kill monsters. Of course, the more important point is that Bell's heart is not big. Obviously I didn't have any thoughts, but it still appeared. Bell couldn't help sighing in his heart. He faith toss noticed Bell's mood at this moment, and she asked slightly strangely, Why, 
Hestia begged you for a weapon that I forged myself, you still don't look very happy. He faith tosses joking. As a mere mortal, I don't have such extravagant thoughts. The Lord God has asked for a weapon from you, which is like a dream to me. That sounds right. He faith toss is not arrogant either. The weapons she made are definitely the first-class products that all the family members compete for in Orari. And she doesn't usually build weapons for a family member. This is the only time. After all, as the main god, she also has her own restraint. The weapons she forged will not compete with those children for business, nor will she show off her forging skills that have reached the top. If it wasn't for Hestia's request as a friend today, she would never have accepted this commission easily. There is nothing wrong with saying these words from a rookie adventurer. Then he faith Taz wanted to know even more why the child still looked melancholy. He faith Taz was even more interested and then asked, Then why aren't you happy yet? God hath Taz, because I was thinking, can I really have such a weapon now? But I am a new adventurer, but I am holding a weapon made by the high god Hefaith Taz. I have no idea. Doubtfully, this weapon is undoubtedly Orari's strongest weapon. But I'm just a Lelv-1 adventurer. No matter what the good words are, they will be very pleasant to listen to, even if it is a god. He faith glanced at Bell. There was a part of compliment in those words just now, but the child was right. But what is more valuable should be that this child thinks about Hestia. This attitude changed he faith's heart slightly, turned to look at Hestia, and then smiled. The main god and his family are really similar. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation, celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books, charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 31. The Birth of Hestia's Blade. For three consecutive days, Bell and Hestia stayed in the He Faith family to build weapons. Bell's choice is still the dagger. Compared with other long swords, long knives, etc., Bell uses the short knife the most. Sudden tripping from your favorite weapon to another is a no-no, and the short knife is still the best option in terms of dexterity. So the short knife known as 200 million is still to be born. Of course, Bell was in charge of the work as a forging helper that didn't require skills throughout the three days. Bell took care of things like pulling the bellows on the side and keeping the temperature in the stove. Naturally, this kind of chores cannot be played by the Lord God Hestia, who is the main god. Therefore, only Bell and he Faith Toss were busy these three days. During the whole process of forging, Faith Toss must keep a conscious condition to track the weapon in real time to prevent missing the best forging time. At the same time, Bell also couldn't fall asleep because the furnace needed to be kept hot at all times to help Faith Toss forge. The spirit of Bell, who is only at the level of ordinary people, has developed a layer of dark circles under his eyes after three days of sleepless nights. During the forging process, he always had the urge to fall asleep. And when he didn't sleep on the first day, Bell was almost unable to hold it. But when he thought that he Faith Toss God had forged his weapon, Bell had no choice but to fight hard to keep himself awake at all times. After three days of hard work, he Faith Toss has forged the knife. However, this knife is not completely completed. It is only a half-finished state. Call. Even he Faith Toss has not forged such a weapon by himself in a long time. But it's not so much a weapon as another form of life. It's not that the artifact has a spirit, but that the weapon is forcibly forged to remove life. This is something he Faith Toss has never done in the past, and it's a bit of a departure from her definition of a weapon. Finished. After slowly exhaling, he Faith Tuss was still very satisfied with her results this time. Combined with Hestia's hair, a metallic weapon was created based on this. All that was needed was for Hestia to complete the final step. He Faith Tuss glanced at the wobbly bell. Perseverance is really good. It took me three days to forge with me. It's really a waste to leave this child to Hestia. Even he Faith Tuss often feels this way. We'll take care of the Lord God's mood, we'll take care of the Lord God's face, and worry about whether the Lord God's practice will be too much. Although it was only a simple contact, he faith toast saw Bell's attitude, and also has a very clear consciousness and mind. As long as it wasn't for the charm of a guy like Freya, 
it was basically certain that this child was definitely a servant of Hestia's side. Hestia, who was waiting beside her, heard, complete, and immediately came over. Is it done? One more step. He faith toast picked up the black short knife in the scabbard. The shape is not particularly brilliant, just like a very ordinary short knife. But the essence of this knife is completely different from the external image. Now this knife still needs the blood of two people, only in this way can this knife be completely Su Xing. This knife is like a living being. Hestia, you can make this knife also engraved with the gods of the family. This is a knife that has grown, but it also requires special methods to awaken. Short knife. Hestia, use your blood to complete the next step. Hestia also suspected him, and took the silver needle for finger stimulation. Broken with a single poke. The blood on the fingers was left along the blade, and the divine words belonging to the Hestia family immediately appeared on the blade. Although there was no tattoo of Hestia's family on the blade, this plan was completely activated. The words on the sword body that flashed bright blue light quickly disappeared. The look that was engraved with the words of God just now returned to the original inconspicuous look, as if it was just an ordinary short knife that could no longer be ordinary from the beginning. That's the case. It's complete. But Hestia, don't let me make this weapon again next time. I don't plan to forge a second weapon like this. He Faith Toss was very satisfied with this short knife, but she still made it according to Hestia's original request. Beginners can use it, and there is no need to worry about the weight, and it cannot be used. And the sharpness of this short knife is also unique, even if it is not satisfied with Hestia's previous requirements, but the thing is still made. Hestia carefully retracted the knife into its sheath. It was the best weapon, and the best weapon in Bell's hands ever since. The opening of this weapon has been completed, and the next step is to link this short knife with the person who uses this short knife. How strong is the parameter of the person using the weapon, then what level of power this short knife can exert? This short knife is the most suitable weapon for Mr. Bell. Mr. Bell's growth rate is very fast, but ordinary weapons can't keep up with, with Mr. Bell's growth. The short knife can keep up with Mr. Bell's growth, which means that's that. This is the most suitable weapon for Mr. Bell. It was surprising that Hestia could create such a weapon. A weapon that even beginner adventurers can use, and even gives the weapon the ability to grow with the user. Such a weapon is the only one among Arari, unless he Faithtos will play a second one in the future, otherwise this one is the only one. In addition to being excited, Hestia almost wanted to jump up and celebrate. She immediately wanted to pass this joy on to her own children. Belle? But as soon as she turned her head, Hestia noticed that Belle beside the bellows had stopped moving. Exhaustion was written on his face. The whites of his eyes were blood red, and his eyes were even more open, but his consciousness had drifted away. He Faith Toss also noticed this phenomenon. Her eyes swept over to Belle, who had lost consciousness. As a new adventurer, this child has worked hard for the past three days. However, it is only a newcomer who has come to Arali for five days, which has exceeded the body's capacity for this child. This child has been working without sleep for three days. Let him sleep for a while. Hestia, pay attention to yourself. You haven't rested for two days. Hestia, who only had Bell in her eyes, shook her head indifferently. Being the main god without rest for a few days has little effect on her body, but it has a much greater effect on her relatives. Hestia gently came to Bell's side. I fell asleep standing up. Since this child is sleepy, just say it directly. He has been trying to be brave. Isn't it bad for his body? He said so, but Hestia's eyes were full of tenderness. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books, Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 32. Debt. 200 million. When I woke up again, I saw an unfamiliar ceiling. Not in the ruins of the church. Bell immediately realized that this was not the ruins of a church. He remembered that he and the Lord God forged 200 million short knives at the God of He Faith before. But Bell couldn't remember if the dagger had been forged, and he must have fainted before the dagger was finished. 
I haven't slept for several days. No wonder I fainted. If I used to have that physique, it would be a problem whether I could wake up from the fainted state just now. Belle sat up from the bed and carefully looked around. There was a window beside the bed, and the night outside was already shrouded in darkness. Belle didn't know how long he slept. After all, he didn't know when he slept. Pay careful attention to listening. The sound of dang-dang struck Belle's ears, and these sounds made Belle immediately confirm where he was. Are you still on the God's family in he faith? The head still hurts a little, maybe because of the side effects of the sleepless night. In a sense, his body is really not good, but he reacted so strongly for three days without sleep. As soon as he pulled the quilt off his body, Bell sat up straight from the bed. Now is not the time to sleep. Just as Bell opened the door, the sound of footsteps at the door caught his attention. The footsteps were somewhat heavy, and they sounded like heavy footsteps, and the owner of the footsteps should be a little heavy. Perhaps because the house was made of wood, the sound became more pronounced. This made Bell very subconsciously slow down, especially after he stopped. Bell wasn't too worried, though, because this was he faith's God's territory. It is now certain that the person standing outside is definitely not someone to be particularly worried about. Bell didn't think that someone from the inside would dare to act recklessly on he faith's land, so he opened the door very quickly. Standing outside was a majestic girl. The skin of the whole body is wheat-colored, and the left eye is covered by a blindfold. If it is not the second disease, then the eyes are really invisible. But even so, it couldn't hide the girl's aura. Just facing Belle directly, I felt the momentum coming towards me. Maybe it was very subtle. Maybe it was very inconspicuous. But that inexplicable sense of oppression still made Belle clearly feel the gap between himself and the person in front of him. Even more distant than the sky and the earth. This is level 5. Even if it's not a combatant, it's just a craftsman under the forge god, this aura is still terrifying and scary. Tsubaki clearly saw Bell's reaction. Obviously, he found the gap between himself and her. But Chun is very strange. She has always been hiding her aura, and no one else can feel it. Why does this young man feel it? Although he is a craftsman, Tsubaki is very confident in the hidden methods of different levels. But even so, it was still felt. However, Tsubaki wasn't very curious about this. After all, each adventurer had different talents, and maybe he might have encountered an adventurer with a particularly good perception ability. This time, she also came to see the situation at the order of Lord He Faith Tos. By the way, I also told the boy in front of me about the current situation. You're awake. Well, if you wake up, I can also convey the words of Lord Hefaith Tos. Lord Hestia has stayed by Lord Hefaith to rest. If you want to find Lord Hestia, you can have to wait until tomorrow. Excuse me, I want to ask when I fell asleep. Oh, that was this morning, or I brought you here. Bell nodded slightly, knowing that he had probably slept all day. After three days of sleepless nights, one sleeps the whole day. Bell thinks it's better not to go too deep in the dungeon in the future, unless he can guarantee that he can reach the 18th floor in one day. The feeling of exhaustion of mental and physical strength Bell has tasted today, and it is impossible for such a weak self to appear in the dungeon in the future. Excuse me, excuse me, who are you? Ah, I'm Tsubaki Kobrand, just call me Tsubaki. From the dialogue, I can feel the magnanimity in Tsubaki's words, which is the type that is relatively easy to contact. She looks a little careless, like a big sister. But Bell doesn't hate this kind of character, because such a person can be faced with a more candid attitude. After a brief introduction, Tsubaki took out the contract that had been prepared long ago from behind him. She was also taken aback when she was preparing this contract. It's not that the 200 million debt on this contract is due, but the fact that the contract describes the weapons forged by Lord Hefaith Tos. Tsubaki remembered that this should be the first time Lord He Faith had forged a weapon for an individual in so many years, and it only sold 200 million. Although Tsubaki didn't know what kind of weapon it was, it was definitely a first-class weapon at such a price. So, who is this first-class weapon for? Tsubaki immediately thought of the young man in front of him. This is the family member Hestia-sama had recruited just yesterday, and it is also an adventurer who has just become. 
However, the first class weapons have very high requirements for the user. No level 1 weapon can be freely used by adventurers of level 1. However, since this is a special weapon specially made by Lord He Faith, it is obviously free from this restriction. But it is too extravagant to make weapons for a level 1 adventurer, and there must be certain restrictions for such a first class product. Tsubaki was very sure that Lordy Faith Toss must have gotten rid of this restriction and changed the nature of the weapon in another form. But what kind of weapon is it? I can't be sure if I haven't seen it. Only after seeing, inspecting, and confirming can we know what Lord Hefaith Toss did. However, now is clearly not a good time. It's the contract, about the charge for that weapon and about the amount owed on the debt after that. Bell took the contract and glanced at it briefly, and finally determined the arrears of 200 million. It doesn't look like a surprise, but it's not a surprise either. But Bell took a careful look at the contract, and it did not clearly state the interest on the debt and the specific repayment date. It seemed that God he faith toss really did charity. Faced with 200 million in arrears, you are not surprised. It's not that I'm not surprised but I'm surprised that the money is too little. The weapon created by God he faith toss himself is undoubtedly the strongest weapon of Orari right now. If I want to come to the mere 200 million, it should be he faith. Faith toss God looks at the material fee given by God Sama in the face. Otherwise, even if the weapon is worth 2 billion, some people will want it. Now Tsubaki is really interested. It seems that the weapons specially crafted by Lord he faith toss are indeed unusual. Next time, if there is a chance, she really wants to see what kind of weapon Lordy Faith has built. P.S. I fell asleep yesterday, and this chapter was made up. P.S. There should be another chapter later, but let's wait until tomorrow. It should be very late. Celebrating the seven-day national day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 33 a very real card draw. After learning about the situation, Bell didn't go to Lord God. Now that Lord God is sleeping on the side of God he faith toss, he was too inappropriate in the past. It just so happened that it was already night, and Bell lay directly on the bed. The time right now is just his time, and it just so happens that he has also started to try the card drawing function of the Xingwei system. Although I have 200 million phallus in debt, it should be okay to use only a fraction of the money to draw cards. Mainly, Bell himself knew that the 200 million Fallis debt would not be repaid in a short time. With 26.4 million Fallis on hand, 20 million Fallis can be used for debt repayment, and the remaining 6.4 million Fallis must be used for at least daily expenses. In the early stage, 10 consecutive consumptions are not a lot, and 10,000 Fals is enough. As for waiting until the subsequent levels are unlocked, it is really too late. After all, the level of drawing cards was unlocked at that time, but the funds required for drawing cards were also unlocked. Maybe 1,000 Fallis in a draw now. What about later? Maybe 10,000 Fallis, maybe even 100,000 Fallis. So drawing cards is definitely the cheapest right now. Even though most of them were only one star and two star costumes, Bell felt that even low-star costumes were definitely more useful than in-game. Of course, Bell made this decision for another reason. Bell clearly remembers that there seems to be a god-made weapon in Samsung's dress. That attire was supposed to increase Saber's noble phantasm's power, but that was in the game. So if you really win that gift, will you give an Excalibur directly? In addition to this, there is the Jewel Sword Zelich. Wouldn't it really give a gem sword with the ability of the second spell after winning this dress? There are also costumes like Dragon Vessel and Dragon Seed. Any dress that has something to do with things like Dragon isn't much different. If it is in the game, maybe the existence of these costumes will be very crotch. After all, the star of the costumes is placed. But if you break through the limitations of the game, then these Samsung dresses are all good enough to explode. So, don't miss out on such good benefits while it's cheaper to draw a card now. In the future, the prices of single draws and 10 consecutive draws have increased, and even the card pool has become more complicated. 
Bell took out 10 gold coins of 10,000 failies directly from the four-dimensional space. Don't need to say more. Let's take a 10 rounds and 10 consecutive rounds to see the situation. Just when these 10 gold coins appeared, the golden coin began to emit a golden light. The void cracked open, and all these golden rays of light were completely absorbed. For the first time, Bell, who was absorbing gold coins like the moonlight system, was a little stunned. Those gold coins turned into golden particles of light that were absorbed. So what exactly is the type moon system absorbing? Is it just pure gold coins? It seems that what the moon moon system needs is not gold coins, but something valuable on it. Isn't this kind of gold coins credibility? Does the moon moon system want something like belief? Bell didn't quite understand that these things were still too far away from him. However, this type of moon system does not seem to accept the exchange of magic stones. According to normal logic, those magic stones should also store corresponding energy. But what the moon system needs is not energy, but gold coins that Bell seems to have only purchasing power. So that means there must be a reason to need gold coins. First come 10 rounds and 10 rounds. After receiving 100,000 Ferris, the model moon system began to operate immediately. It's not like a mobile game that draws cards in circles, but 100 cards flew out of the void. Bell glanced briefly at the dresses that were mostly one and two stars. In addition to the 10-year guarantee of Samsung, there is not even an extra Samsung dress. This result is not very surprising, Bell. Even if he has the corresponding skill of heavenly luck, even if Bell thinks about it with the back of his head, he knows that the type moon system shields all external factors. That is to say, being a European emperor outside does not mean that drawing a card in the Xingwei system is also a European emperor. Sure enough, it seems that my luck is only guaranteed by the bottom line, but the one star and two star gifts are not bad when they are full, but I don't know what kind of real effects those gifts can bring to me. Bell had never had the experience of drawing cards before, and he didn't know if these costumes could help him enough. Personal training is a precocious skill that simply increases experience points. Although it has almost no effect in the game, after all, when it comes to changing that kind of dress, there is no lack of experience. However, the role of personal training in reality is too great. After enjoying the convenience of openly hanging up, Bell didn't think that experience were unimportant. In this world, the skill of prematurity is really important. As long as this skill exists, it can greatly shorten the time to success and accelerate its own growth. It's just very simple magic. The one-star, two-star dress-up game is to increase the output of three-color cards. Bell didn't want to need that kind of stuff, but something like adding skill would be better. There is only one piece of ceremonial clothing that can be carried anyway. In this case, that kind of thing that can be absorbed into one's own power is very important. But before that, there shouldn't be a better dress than personal training. Shaking his head, Bell began to focus his attention on the guaranteed 10 three-star attire. The one-star and two-star dress can be seen from the back, and the guaranteed three-star dress is the key. But when Bell looked at those Samsung dresses, he couldn't help calling good guy in his heart. It really didn't live up to his expectations at all. Three-star costumes, extra spicy Mapo Tofu, two, secret sword, chick return, five, nine characters, Kending, one, Shu Della Dagger, one, magic book, one. Seeing these cards, Bell was also a little disappointed. But this disappointment also quickly subsided. Maybe it is definitely a few grades worse than the desired dress but it can't be said to be very bad. Nine characters. Kansada should be the samurai sword in the hands of the two rituals, right? Although it is not a magic weapon, but it is also an ancestral thing of the two rituals, and the quality is definitely not too bad. Besides, the prototype of the secret sword, the chick return should be Hue. It's Yanhui, so I don't know if it's the same thing. The extra spicy Mapo Tofu is a blood returning gift, so let's see if it fills the stomach. Shudella's dagger should be considered a good thing. It's just that this dagger was not made for killing people, but for poisoning. There are many barbs in the shape, and it is a double-edged dagger. Yin people are good things, but serious battles are a lot worse. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation.
P.S. Not on yesterday's chapter. Just a little bit late. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 34 Strengthening is more expensive than drawing cards. Bell drew out the card, Shudella's Dagger. The card-shaped attire disappeared instantly, turning into a double-edged, multi-barb-shaped silver-white dagger. Sure enough, it can be transformed from a card into an entity. In that case, the divine weapon that I thought about before is not an illusion. But it is not a good thing to expect too much from that holy sword. It can only be said that it is the best. If it is a short knife, it is made by God he faith toss. If I am fortunate enough to be able to draw a God-made weapon in the future, maybe it can be used as a long sword. It's just that it's best to draw God-made weapon before entering level 2. Otherwise, it will be even more difficult to draw it when the card draw is lifted. Of course, in Bell's view, God-made weapon is just a whole card, and it's still a whole card that I don't know if it can be used. Not everyone can use the holy sword like Excalibur. God knows if the holy sword drawn from the ceremonial dress has an authentication problem. If it exists, even if it is drawn, it is estimated that it will not be used. Bell thinks it's best to start with the idea that it won't work and not expect too much. Then Bell turned his attention to Secret Sword, Chick Return. Among the ten three-star costumes, this one actually won five directly. This dress is derived from Sasaki Kojiro's Yanhui, but I don't know if this dress can restore the legendary Yanhui that can form multidimensional twists and turns. Moon System. I want to strengthen the dress. Bell had just finished talking in his mind when a line of words appeared in front of him. It will cost one million phallus. The expensive expense made Bell almost say, no. To know that the total amount of money he can use is only 6.4 million phallus, and it turns out that the strengthening of the three-star dress actually requires 1 million phallus. This cost is simply more expensive than the cost of drawing a card. I don't know if this is a uniform cost for the enhancement of the gift, or it is limited to the cost of the enhancement of the Samsung gift. Bell clicked yes, almost out of heartache. He just heard a click in his ear, and his available amount directly changed from 6.3 million phallus just now to 5.3 million phallus. Just such a reinforcement made him directly spend 10 times more money than drawing cards, which really made Bell feel the pain. The five secret sword chick return slowly circled in the air and merged into one card without any special effects. Bell took a deep breath and took the card and glanced at it. The name on the gift card had been changed, but the name changed later made Bell's heart no longer feel the pain just now, only the inexplicable joy. Secret Sword, Yan Return The chick returning just now has become the current Yan Returning. Just now it was the background of Sasaki Kojiro and Fuma Kotaro, but now it has become Sasaki Kojiro's single-handedly holding a sword and posing as a swallow. Doesn't this mean that I spent nearly 1.1 million phallus to get Sasaki Kojiro's secret sword? Then, let me see if this secret sword can be turned into my skill. Bell couldn't wait to see the fineness of this secret sword. But what is this dress used for? Just when Bell thought so, the dress in his hand turned into a string of data and flew between his eyebrows. At that moment, a person's life slowly unfolded before Bell's eyes. A person with no name and no name, who does not know where he is, is like a person with a blank past and future. This man's life is equally simple and straightforward. There is no overly exciting life, only a simple swordsmanship career. There is no struggle for fame, only what you want to do. The nameless swordsman shows Bell his whole life. From the thought of, how should I cut down the swallows, this nameless swordsman has been working hard. There is nothing else in his life. He has been practicing swordsmanship all his life, and he has been studying how to cut down high-speed swall, owes all his life. The trajectory of the one-knife swallow is easy to dodge. Even if it is two-knife, it is easy to dodge, but the three-knife really slashes the flying swallow with one blow. The nameless swordsman perfected this sword skill little by little, and finally completed this skill at the end of his life, successfully beheading the swallow. Bell clearly saw the life of this unknown swordsman with his eyes. There is no low, no high, 
just the act of moving forward with one's own interests. The superb swordsmanship is not what the unknown swordsman pursues. What he pursues is nothing but the long-cherished wish in his heart, the act of cutting off a high-speed swallow. To this end, the unknown swordsman sacrificed his life, and he finally mastered this incredible sword skill at night. The experience of practicing swords in this life has become Bell's nourishment. It turned out to be the real Yanhui. At this moment, Bell could feel that his brain was already telling him Yanhui has mastered it. Of course, Bell knew that this feeling in his brain was nothing but an illusion. This is a feeling that comes from accepting the life of the unknown swordsman. This is not a kind of mastery, but just knowing how to master it. Of course, in addition to swallow return, Bell also got a lot of things. The life of an unknown swordsman who is skilled enough to complete Yanhui, that is, in addition to Yanhui, there is a lot of experience in using weapons. There is a way to complete Yan's return, but that kind of trick is not something normal people can achieve. The tricks that can cause that kind of spatial twists and turns can't be done with time and effort. If you don't have enough talent, you will definitely be blocked. Dying on the road. If I didn't have that life, I would be foolish to want to master Yan Hui. Bell knew that he did not have the qualifications to complete the Swallow Return, but he also got the key to reach the level of Swallow Return. Maybe he didn't have that aptitude, but he got the life that was enough to achieve Yan Hui. It's just that it still takes a certain amount of time to find the keyhole, but it's also much easier than making a key. I eased my emotions a little, and now there is still a magic book that I haven't taken out. Bell couldn't remember what the magic book attire was for. After all, there are too many costumes in FGO, and Bell just knows something, not a complete mastery of those costumes. By the way, will this magic book become that in this world? Bell vaguely remembers the existence of magic books that teach magic in the city of Orari. I remember that in the original work, the male protagonist got the magic book specially gifted by the god of beauty, and then the magic was activated and it was the kind of magic that did not need to be chanted at all. Bell remembered that the kind of magic book that could make one learn magic was almost the same price as a first-class weapon. By the way, if it is really a magic book, can it be used to pay off debts? But Bell didn't know if the dress called Magic Book had such an effect. Of course, even if it really had such an effect, Bell couldn't take it out. After all, what's behind this can't be explained clearly. Therefore, if it is a real magic book, it is better to use it for your own use. Taking it out to pay off the debt is nothing but an accident. P.S. Ask for collection. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 35, We. After Bell hesitated for a moment, the magic book attire came into his hands. That is, at that moment, the gift card turned into a thick magic book, with the three words magic book written in Chinese, even worried that he could not understand it. The thoughtfulness made Bell a little speechless. In fact, he could understand the words of this world. After opening the magic book, all the text inside is Chinese. Every word is in Song Dynasty, and there is no situation of incomprehension. And after seeing the text inside, Bell was really sure that this magic book was genuine. In addition to the god-made weapon, there is a surprise like a magic book in the three-star dress. Although this is a good way to make money, this kind of thing with the same price as a first-class weapon really can't be sold. It's just too easy to get caught. Although there are some ideas, but considering the feasibility of the matter, Bell completely put away that mind and continued to focus on the magic book. The words on the magic book quickly entered Bell's eyes. There are two types of magic. One is the congenital system with qualities due to race. The second is the acquired system inspired by the grace of God. This string of words entered Bell's eyes like a seal, and the words that had been read were quickly disappearing. Acquired magic is simply self-realization. The interest, identification, hatred, longing, wonder, yearning, longing for something, the trigger for it all exists within the ego. After a series of introductory words, the picture in front of Bell's eyes turned into pure white, 
and the words just now are also guiding Bell to the right path, which is his own opportunity and the place to inspire his own magic. Then, let's get started. The world of pure white has become a modern world of vivid colors. Bell looked at the familiar scenery around him and listened to the familiar voice in his ear. Not the world's own voice, but the voice of the past. At the same time, an ordinary self stood in front of Bell. You are. It's me. The person in front of him couldn't help laughing, and almost Sanwu forced a smile on his face, but it made this smile look weirder than everyone else. But Bell had no disobedience to the person in front of him, because the person in front of him is himself. For us, what is magic? Us. Bell was a little bewildered by this remark. He didn't know why he would say such a thing. Shouldn't the dialogue here be, I? The opposite self understood Bell's doubts, and after snapping his fingers, another person appeared in this special cognitive space. The appearance of that person also made Bell stunned. Bell Cronell, have you been here all along? Bell Cronell, dressed in a linen-colored sackcloth, had only a simple smile on his face. The smile on his face was so innocent that Bell couldn't help but feel ashamed. Maybe it's because the other party is the one he's sorry for, because he replaces the other party's existence. Instead, do you really think so? Bell Cronell spoke suddenly. But this sentence made Bell discover something different. What do you mean? Failed me. Hey? The sudden failure left Bell a little puzzled. But Bell Cronell went on. In the crusade against the Black Dragon, all I faced in the end was failure. We, Hestia's family also faced the same situation as Grandpa and the others. We were all wiped out. This sentence made Bell's eyes widen completely. He couldn't believe his ears, let alone what Bell Cranell said in front of him, because the person in front of him actually said something about crusade against Hylong, but that shouldn't be the case. Obviously, the novel has not developed to that stage yet. In other words, the Bell Cranell in front of him was Bell Cranell who failed to defeat the Black Dragon. Failure, you turned out to be the future Bell Cranell. Don't call yourself by your name so directly. It's not just my name, it's your name too. But that's not my name. When Bell gave a negative answer, he suddenly telep, ordered in front of Bell. There was a sarcastic smile in his eyes. Hey, don't you think that time travel is unique to you, right? You don't think this is our first time travel, right? Such an answer left Bell's hands and feet cold. He could hear that these words were said seriously and even said that this kind of crossing has been maintained many times. The self standing in front of Bell reluctantly agreed with this idea. That's right, our crossing has never been an accident. Don't always regard crossing as an accident. It's just the arrangement of fate. Repeated reincarnation until the crusade against the Black Dragon is our fate. Although it is different individuals, but we all have the same identity. The original Bell Cronell, followed by our counterparts in different worlds. We are all Bell Cronell. Although we also have different world identities, even completely different looks. At first, the number was actually quite large. But after failing again and again, we in different worlds have failed one after another. What we face when we fail is total death. We have no effect on parallel worlds and will not affect the operation of any world, so we are like sand that can be seen everywhere in the desert and no one will pay attention. The world it doesn't even care about our lives or lives, only we in the parallel world are constantly reincarnating and failing. As long as this kind of reincarnation always exists, our souls will continue to be in this kind of reincarnation and cannot be liberated. Bell was completely calm now, too. These words have completely revealed the truth of time travel and even the fate of endless reincarnation and infinite parallel worlds. So is it my turn this time? He grinned to himself. That's right. This is our destiny. The failure of the crusade against the Black Dragon, the unwillingness to destroy the Hestia family, has connected us in countless parallel worlds. Every one of us who has the conditions will challenge that world a reincarnated identity unwilling to die. Maybe it was originally for the world, but now it's all for ourselves. Originally, this reincarnation would go on and on, and it would go on and on, and it would fail, and it would die. I've felt that this is our reincarnation since the beginning. Repeating this process over and over restarts a world that is constantly being destroyed. 
But until we discover that the myriad of selves has ceased to be the myriad, we also realize that fate has reached the final node. Either accept the total destruction of that world, or accept our destruction. Of course, for us, maybe that's the only way to end the cycle of suffering. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation, celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books, charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons, immediately rush to recharge event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 36, Nothing? I don't want to lose it. Bell felt from the beginning that his crossing should not be just a matter of fingering, but he didn't expect the content inside to be so complicated. They turned out to be peers from different worlds, and they shouldn't have any contact, but they met in this way. I didn't really care about Bell's silence. Anyone who hears such a story can't help but remain silent, just like him who heard the news at the beginning, and also can't believe this fact. Bell looked up suddenly. He suddenly thought of a question. Since we are peers of different worlds, what about our awakening skills? Unfortunately, although there are some differences in magic, there is no difference in skills. There was a flash of understanding in Bell's eyes. It seems that his transmigration still has factors that the parallel world equivalent does not have. It seems that the key to breaking the game is his body. If the peer skills will not change, then the only one who has changed the skill type is the alien in the peer. Since that was the case, Bell made a decision in his heart. Black Dragon, what kind of guy is he? Why can't so many peers be able to fight? A haze flashed across the faces of Self and Bell Crinnell. The crusade against the Black Dragon is eternal darkness for them, and it is simply not a big guy that can be faced so easily. However, they still did not intend to hide it. This is the same entity, and it must be the same fate as them. Black dragons must also be attacked, even if it is for them to break such a reincarnation. That guy is not difficult to deal with, but very difficult to deal with. That guy has always controlled the dungeon behind his back, and also used the dungeon to nurture its wounds. Zeus and Hera's family members attacked it back then. Maybe the final result is the destruction of the group, but it still caused irreversible injuries to it. It is also because of such injuries that this gives us the hope of crusade against it. Also, you need to pay attention. You don't need to think about the sky to defeat the Black Dragon. Huh? I remember that the Black Dragon entrusted by the three major adventurers belongs to the King of the Air. Is this still a ground dragon? Facing Bell's question, I and Bell Cranell couldn't help but laugh. This is indeed the only ridiculous thing. The former king of the sky was completely deprived of even the right to fly. However, this is indeed the greatest effort made by Zeus and Hera, deprived of the black dragon's authority over the sky. This credit is due to Grandpa and Hera's family. Grandpa and Hera's family have permanently deprived the black dragon of the right to ascend into the sky, and the sky has been banned so that the black dragon can only choose to hide in the deepest part of the dungeon. But even so, it was done by giving the lives of love eight heroes and love nine empresses. Since then, the black dragon has been in control of the dungeon and is trying to use the power of the dungeon to restore itself. No matter how hard you try, the wings are permanently stripped. It is also because of this that it hates adventure. As long as it is an adventurer, it can't help but want to tear it to shreds. However, even the black dragon that was banned from the sky is not easy to mess with. The guy's skin is not easy to hurt, even a first-class weapon, and the scales on his body are extremely strong and even have a strong sense of magic, special defensiveness. It is not easy for powerful magic to hurt that guy, unless you aim at the guy's wound and attack. And that guy also has the ability to regenerate itself, if it's not the damage caused by the curse-type weapon, even if it doesn't once, it takes a few breaths to recover. Just listening to Bell knew what the situation was like. Isn't it despair to fight for a guy who wants to attack high, have thick blood, and also has his own self-regeneration? Unless it is higher than the strength of this dragon line, it may not be possible to fight with one's life. But for the M, the black dragon is a hurdle that must be overcome, and this is a dead end. But this situation seems to be more or less the same at Bell. If the Black Dragon is a monster that is easy to slay, 
then it will not destroy Zeus and Hera's family, and the overall strength is estimated to be L10. In the face of such a monster that threatens the world, one's strength seems a little weaker. At least, you need to recruit other familiars to join in the crusade against the Black Dragon. Bell made this judgment almost at the same time. As for whether he could successfully defeat the Black Dragon, Bell didn't want to go into further details. Even if they are their own peers in different worlds, it can only be said that they are the same people in different worlds, which does not mean that their abilities and thinking are synchronized. Bell also didn't want others to know about how he would deal with the Black Dragon. Bell could also see that his peers in other worlds did not have systems, so he may be that inflection point. What about the Loki Familia and the Freya Familia? They also participated, but the end result was repeating the mistakes of the past. Myself didn't say what the outcome was, but Bell had almost figured it out. The crusade against the Black Dragon's family is nothing but repeating the mistakes of the Zeus family and the Hera family in the past. Doesn't that mean total extinction? I understand. The crusade against the Black Dragon itself is not an easy task, and the phenomenon of group extinction is just a natural result. But Bell had a hard time imagining that after the failure of Freya and Loki's family, what other family could stand up and stand up to the beam? But these questions are not what he needs to think about, at least now he doesn't have so much time to think about them. Last question. You shouldn't be the only one in countless parallel worlds, right? Myself and Bell Cranel went silent eerily. Bell shook his head slightly, knowing that was the case. Even the peers of the so-called infinite parallel world have been tortured to such a degree that it is conceivable how low the possibility of crusade against the Black Dragon is. Let's move on to the magic problem. I know everything I need to know. It's up to me. If I fail, it means the world will be completely destroyed. We will also be completely ended. But I brack but there was no intention of dying at such an early age. Bell didn't intend to die so easily from the start. He who yearns for power is not a hero, and he does not hesitate to be a hero. He only hopes to have his own freedom instead of this bound destiny. Especially after fate showed him the heavy shackles and endless abyss, Bell's unwillingness became stronger. Myself sighed silently. Countless of them have the same emotions, the fear of facing despair and the unwillingness to face fate. Perhaps it is because this emotion is too strong that the reincarnation that should have been countless times began to count down. He can only send his own blessings to the counterpart in the parallel world, and this should be the last time he said these words. Work hard. Even if we lose everything, it's nothing to be afraid of, because we have nothing. A flash of disappointment flashed in Bell's eyes. Nothing to be afraid of? Not really. It is because they have nothing in the past that they are even more afraid of losing everything. Because they have something worth cherishing for what they never had. So from the beginning, it is not that there is nothing, but that you do not want to lose everything. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 37, The Reason for Crossing the Black Dragon. What is magic to you? Power. Pure power. The power to create a new era for yourself. What does magic look like to you? Lightning. So what kind of magic do you want to pursue? Let me incarnate into lightning as fast as lightning. Let me seize the momentary opportunity the erratic lightning, the lightning that is fleeting. Maybe it's just a faint light, but I also hope to use this faint light to illuminate brighten my future. Seize fate. Really naive idea. Ah, I'm such a naive person. The world Bell saw had changed dramatically and a pitch black dragon stood in front of him. The pair of fleshy wings that could be seen to the naked eye were torn off and the black air from his body continued to spread around and soon came to Bell. But Bell faced the situation without taking a step back. Kakaka, -ka -ka, gritted teeth kept coming out of Bell's mouth. It's not that he doesn't step back, it's that he can't step back. There is an endless abyss behind him, giving him a way back from the very beginning. This is his destiny. This is his choice. The huge Longan stared at Bell, who was clenching his teeth. 
even if it only hates and disdains human beings, it also puts away that contempt. It is not afraid of any human challenge, and it is its destiny to give human beings the opportunity to challenge. As if human beings are destined to challenge it, it is just the arrangement of fate. It will not give any contempt or contempt for humans who can look directly at it. Those human heroes have left a permanent imprint on it, and the injuries on the body are also an acknowledgement of those heroes. It was like an acknowledgement of the weak challenger in front of him. Try to cross me, the hero of mankind. This sentence was so abrupt in Bell's ears. Over me? The black dragon, which symbolizes evil, actually said such a thing. But Bell didn't have time to think about the deeper meaning of the sentence. He himself is not a particularly good person, and he is not clear about the meaning of the existence of the black dragon. But Bell knew that this was the death situation for him, and it was a situation that had to be dealt with. ZZ, blue lightning appeared from the surface of Bell's skin. In the next second, Bell's entire body flashed with blue-white lightning, and the pressure on Bell plummeted. Unable to move forward, he took a step forward, and then his body transformed into a thunderlight and rushed towards the black dragon. Let me cross. Bell knew he couldn't be a hero. He was just a little guy. Peers of different worlds? Is that the same person? Maybe they are different from each other by nature, and even their wishes and thoughts are not in sync. But they are doing the same thing. Only in this one thing, they are the same. Overcome the impassable obstacles in front of you. Excited, delight, longing, fantasy, and power. There was everything he had fantasized about here, but it all formed an unpleasant but old-fashioned story. Bell, who is good at expression management, couldn't help grinning. Turned into lightning, he stepped on the ground heavily and jumped high, waving his fists like an idiot to meet the black dragon's mouth. You are my doom, so I must step over you and kill you with my own hands. There is absolutely no superfluous reason. Just because now the black dragon stood in front of him, blocking his way forward. Bell doesn't care about any other reason. Save the world? That kind of reason is really too lofty, and this kind of reason is not suitable for him. Little people don't need so many high-sounding reasons, just one is enough. The moment Bell's fist touched the black dragon's mouth, everything began to become emptiness. The two consciousnesses that came into contact with each other returned to their respective bodies. Bell's eyes snapped open, his oxygen-deprived body making him gasp for breath. The black dragon I saw with my eyes just now, and the sound of the black dragon I heard in my ears didn't see, am to be fake. So, is the so-called peer just now true? No. The real Belcranel doesn't think like that. Failure is never allowed, and neither does he in that position. Yeah, Bell doesn't admit those people are who they were, or Belcranel. The person who will admit his failure will not be the protagonist. At least Bell didn't think that the naive as a virgin would choose to give in so easily. Perhaps the essence of that guy is just a relatively astringent kid. Is it a guide? Bell wasn't sure which one it was. It really happened that things happened too suddenly, and his brain was indeed not spinning fast enough. But he can be sure that at least it was not made by the Black Dragon. What the Black Dragon said, obviously would not do such a lowly thing. Although he didn't know what was going on now, he admitted that he was just a transmigrator. It doesn't matter to him whether it is a peer or not, but the thing to do is still the same. He needs to take on the fate originally borne by this identity, which is a fate he simply cannot escape. After Bell sighed, the bloody brain just calmed down again. Perhaps the one just now was just the product of a deep fantasy in his mind. This is a good explanation, and something that someone like him who is not very good at talking can do. So much content just now, maybe it's just the effect of the magic book. My brain is really not designed to think about these complex issues. Bell felt hopeless about his brain again. Obviously YY is a good player, but when it's his turn to think about things, he can't always turn around. Bell thought for a while, whether it was real, fake, or even YY, it's better to write it down first so that you can forget about it later. After taking some simple notes, Bell lay back on the bed. The experience just now made him mentally exhausted. Obviously just woke up not long ago, but after reading a magic book, I started to feel sleepy again. 
Limbs relax on the bed, but hard-shelled things hit their feet. Bell sat up and saw the magic book at his feet and opened it curiously. The text is gone. It seems useless. After stuffing the magic book into the four-dimensional space, Bell lay back on the bed and closed his eyes. P.S. For collections. For flowers. For evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 38. Even a star dress can't be underestimated. It was daylight when Bell woke up again. It's dawn. How long have I slept? Bell Su Xing from a daze, clutching his hair and looking out the bright window. Bell remembered everything that happened last night about the magic book and about those peers and the black dragon. It's just that Bell doesn't want to overthink things that are too complicated. Because a lot of things are confusing, even for Bell's personal experience, and God knows whether that experience is true or false. But there's one thing Bell believes. If there really exist peers of his own parallel world, then it is normal for those peers to have come into contact with the type moon system like him. Moreover, it is impossible for the so-called isotype to have an abnormality like him, and the type moon system almost completely pulled him away from that kind of isotype. His crossing is because of the type moon system, not because of any kind of peer. Then, the final result is obvious. Those pictures are either their own sex or someone is controlling them behind their backs. Don't care. Don't care. Maybe it's my own problem. Bell was careful not to soothe himself by hitting his chest. Try not to allow yourself to think about what happened yesterday. In fact, Bell felt more that the magic book guided the thoughts in his heart so that he attributed the time travel to other reasons, which led to that kind of dialogue, and even found a reason for himself not to think about the time travel problem. First of all, one thing needs to be determined. Time travel is the result of my own choice. Maybe I'm cheap, but time travel is indeed my own behavior. It's his problem to see that tempting sight go cheap, and Bell needs to admit it. No matter if it's a house grab or soul crossing, now crossing is his fact. After a pat on the face, Bell regained his energy. In fact, when he was reading the magic book yesterday, he hadn't seen the one-star, two-star dress. The three-star attire is almost all things that can be taken out, such as weapons and magic books, and things that can be directly absorbed as experience, such as the secret sword Yan Hui, but there is not a single attire that can be held. Now Bell still doesn't know whether those one-star, two-star dresses can be his strength. If you can, then the cost of 100,000 fails is too much. Maybe one-star and two-star costumes are really expensive in the game, but in this reality, it is completely different. Those costumes represent various bonuses, such as the experience bonus of personal training. In the middle of the game, they are basically the same as trash costumes, but is the effect in reality conceivable? Experience equals precociousness? This Nima's equation is really scary. Completely changed the personal training from a trash dress to a god-level dress that grasps progress. Bell took a deep breath, walked to the door, and leaned against the door to start checking the one-star and two-star dresses he had drawn yesterday. Ninety costumes of various shapes floated in front of Bell. All you can see is an image where everything is well arranged. Change the appearance of the dress every five pieces, and there are 18 different types of dresses in total. Ten Leon eats all the guarantees, and the one-star and two-star costumes are almost going to be spared by me, right? Looking at these 18 different types of dresses, Bell makes my heart feel very tired. It's not that he cares about the guarantee, just that the cost of reinforcement is really annoying to Bell. The enhancement of the three-star dress is one million ferris. I hope that the one-star and two-star dresses can be enhanced without such a high cost. Strengthening the dress can play the biggest role. And if the conditions are met, Bell will also think about using the money to directly fill these dresses. After all, it is too difficult for a Samsung dress to be strong. And now there is only one secret sword Yanhui that is strong. And what Yanhui gave was not a direct move, but only the method to reach that height and the skills that had been tempered. The synthesized dress gave Bell a chance, a shortcut to complete Yan's return. Strengthen all attire. 
it will cost 1.8 million fallas. Is a one-star, two-star dress 100,000 fallas? Bell nodded slightly. The one-star, two-star dress enhancement was still affordable. Yes. Just as Bell responded, the 1.8 million fallas in the four-dimensional space turned into golden light and was directly absorbed by the type moon system. At the same time, the 90 dresses floating in front of Bell began to merge. 18 essences with completed enhancements. And then, a dress flew in front of Bell, and Bell noticed the dress number of No One immediately. But before Bell could react, the dress called Toughness had turned into a spot of light and floated around his body. This phenomenon made Bell stunned. He also had a personal training dress with a premature nature on his body, but he saw this one-star dress floated around his body in the form of light spots. Isn't there a limit to the number of dresses in reality? The particles of light floating around Bell's body melted into his body little by little. Bang! At this moment, the muscles of the whole body suddenly agitated, and the flesh and blood were like boiling at this moment. Bell's entire body was covered in a strange blood red. The blood running through her body made Bell feel like her blood was about to leave her body, and it wasn't a feel. At this moment, Bell wanted to scream out loud, but he couldn't do it now. Just keep gritting your teeth. Bell could feel his body begin to transform, and the blood in his whole body seemed to be greatly stimulated. After three minutes, the agitating blood finally began to subside, but resisting the rush of blood in his body made Bell soaked in sweat. What? A breath of hot breath came out of the mouth with quivering lips. The hot air formed a white arrow in the room and shot three or four meters away before stopping. But Bell, who exhaled this hot breath, was quite bad. The rushing blood almost made him unable to control it and even almost caused the blood and heart in his body to burst. This feeling is really bad, even unimaginably bad. The dress, it's the type that directly strengthens the body. If it's me who hasn't received the favor, I'm afraid it will burst immediately because of the blood flow. At this moment, Bell was only glad that he didn't draw cards in advance. Fortunately, I had no money before. P.S. Ask for collection. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day national day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 39 Almost Killed by the Dress At this moment, the next dress came to Belle's eyes. Again? This time, the dress directly turned into a light and penetrated into Belle's brain. An unprecedented sense of coolness swept Belle's consciousness, and the phenomenon of his brain's nerves throbbing because of the agitation of flesh and blood just now stopped. The excitement was greatly suppressed, and it slowly fell into an extraordinary tranquility, and all the surrounding sounds disappeared. The silence caused Bell to slowly close his eyes, so quiet. The tense body was relaxed, the body was so relaxed, and even the soul floated out. Meditation, a moment of silence, human beings will know their origin, a skill that humans will never be able to escape, obtain the preemption of the first mover battle. Destruction is the purest impulse in the human soul, a flash that illuminates the sky and the road ahead, just the right opportunity, self-growth and harvest fruit. Concentrate the mind to focus a little. The road ahead is at a loss, and the sky is apocalypse to find the apocalypse of truth. Clenching weapons and hands, there will inevitably be a struggle ahead, a chain that connects attacks and moves one by one. Resist damage and break all barriers. The eyes that awaken in the dark can see all things clearly. The hunger, deep in the soul, is always a reminder of its own desires. The kindness that cannot be forgotten, even if it is betrayed and even if it is difficult, but sometimes it is also a sign of falling into the abyss. The endless vitality symbolizes prosperity and the desire for life. The river of death is constantly flowing, and the darkness symbolizing the death is constantly approaching. Eighteen costumes with different symbolic meanings turned into a little bit of light and entered Bell's body. The power that was far beyond what the body could restrain was constantly pouring into the weak and weak body, endless vitality, extraordinary strength, and strengthening the flexibility of the body, all of which entered Bell's body in an instant. At about the same time, Bell's body almost came to an end under the influence of multiple forces. 
However, the vitality that symbolized prosperity emerged and brought a drop of water of life to the dead silence that was almost completely overwhelmed by the force. The almost dead body was pulled back. The river of death didn't know when it flowed to Bell's ankle, symbolizing the constant rise of the power of death from the ankle, and black lines covered Bell's body almost instantly. However, the love from heaven suppressed death and brought life to Bell's body again. Hungry. Souls crave food all the time. The river of death symbolizing death in the river of death makes the soul constantly throb, yearn, and devour at the same time. The black lines were bit by bit eaten up by the hungry soul. A little light began to appear in the soulless soul, and a little light began to appear in the worthless soul. Just a few, just the light that bloomed after swallowing the dead river. But soon, there was a thick barrier outside the shimmering soul, which completely cut off the shimmering soul from the outside world. Let the outside world not see any light in any case, or even feel the hunger soul that is transforming. The power of the dress was too strong, causing Belle's body to collapse several times. But because of the life force of love and prosperity in the sky, Belle's collapsed body regained life. In this process of collapse and rebirth, Belle's body was reorganized, and the various organs of the body became stronger, and even the vitality showed a slow increase. Bell, who is immersed in meditation, has always been aware of the changes in his body. It was because he knew this change that Bell didn't dare to quit meditation to interfere with this change, especially after he noticed that this abnormal change was developing in a positive direction. However, only after the mutation had subsided, Bell withdrew far on the meditation. The intense pain nearly took Bell, who had regained control over his body, straight away. Although in the end, with that perseverance, the consciousness did not go away because of the pain, but the pain in every organ and even every cell in the body made Bell unable to even make a sound. I knew. I knew. Fortunately, I didn't jump out of meditation just now, otherwise I'd be completely gone by now. Pain in the body is part of it, and so is pain in the soul. The curse of the river of death just now was like a gangrene that was attached to the bones, and it continued to swell from the ankle. If other dresses had not competed against it, the body would definitely die completely. In addition, because the soul also ate part of the dead river, it even made the soul feel tear-like pain. It can only be said that the play of dead river is really unpalatable at all. In one bite, I almost ate a GG of myself. With his back against the door panel, Bell gradually felt the pain subside. However, he knew that this weakening was nothing more than a weakening compared to just now. In fact, the pain in his body was not much weaker than before. Perhaps this feeling can be said that the body is used to it. Holding the door panel with his hand to stand up, Bell staggered to the edge of the bed. Today, he is completely helpless. This kind of pain cannot be completely recovered today, at least the pain in the body must be completely gone. Otherwise, Bell would even promise that if he went to the dungeon, he would be killed by goblins. Pain, it hurts too much. I've never heard of it. It's just a power-up dress. Why did I lose half my life? Luckily, he didn't really let his body die now, otherwise Bell wouldn't know where he really was crying. Bell didn't know that a one-star, two-star dress would have such terrifying power. If she had known in advance that it would be so painful when this thing entered her body, Bell would never have been brain-twitching. At least one by one. He lay down on the bed carefully and covered his body with the quilt. To be honest, Bell felt very sleepy after the pain. Maybe it's a protective mechanism of the body. Bell didn't control his will, but went to sleep on his own accord following the onslaught of drowsiness. It's just that after falling asleep, Bell's body still has a little spasm. The pain just now was too excruciating. P.S. Ask for collection. Ask for flowers. Ask for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 40. The Gods Who Love Their Relatives. Well, early in the morning, Hestia woke up a little bit from her sweet dream. She opened her eyes little by little with the thought of, the bed is still soft, but judging from her expression, she should still want to continue lying on the bed without moving, 
The problem is that the other person on the bed can't take it anymore. Hey, what time do you think it is now? He, Faith, looked at Hestia with slightly raised eyes. It wasn't long before this idiot became the main god, and he returned to his old slacker appearance so quickly, which made he, Faith, toes wonder if working with this guy was bringing a trouble home. Well, don't say that. Hestia pouted and buried her face in the quilt with a bulging face, looking like she didn't want to get up. Even Hestia had plenty of reasons. I didn't realize how hard life was outside until the few days I went out. The beds were all hard, the quilt smelled bad, and the basement of the church had a musty smell. At first glance, it really sounds like a rich second generation who has touched the bottom of life and has a lot of emotions about life. Of course, he Faith Toss even heard the hidden meaning of wanting something for nothing in Hestia's words, which made her start directly. A hand reached into the quilt, grabbed Hestia's face hidden under the quilt, and pulled Hestia, who was shouting, Pain! up abruptly. Who made you feel emotional? Who do you think caused this phenomenon? It's not that you slacker usually just stays in my house and doesn't go out to Eulery to see the situation, but find two talented or high-quality relatives. Do you think that every god is like you? If Freya and Loki are like you, they don't have to be the twin kings of Orari. He faith toss was very dissatisfied with Hestia's character. We are all gods, and there are times when we want to be lazy, even he faith toss himself is no exception. But the problem is that being lazy is based on the situation that you usually have to work normally and occasionally want to be lazy in your busy life and work. But Hestia is a lazy person who usually doesn't do anything and stays there every day. Is this called being lazy? It's called loafing. When the gods came from the heaven to the lower world, almost all the gods made their own efforts. Whether it's looking for candidates for family members or showing their ability to attract the attention of children in the lower realm, this is the direction of every god's efforts. For he faith toss, this kind of process is far more interesting than in the heavens, and she herself enjoys it very much. Therefore, he faith toss was even more disdainful of the lazy behavior of Hestia, who was also in the lower realm. Of course, Hestia, an idiot, invited adventurers to join her clan one by one, and Hephaith Toss did not expect it. If it weren't for a big, potential stock coming in the next second, he Faith Toss really had a plan to kick Hestia back to the heaven. Well, Hestia, who was sore face, knew that she was wrong and couldn't say anything, at least what he Faith Toss said was really what she did. Hestia suddenly became proud when she thought of her lovely Belle. If I hadn't been lazy here, where would I have run into Mr. Bell? So, I'm being lazy. The retort made the blood vessels in He Faith's head jump wildly, and she really wanted to open in the idiot's head to see if it contained a pig. You still have the face to say such a thing? Did you encounter it yourself? You are a blind cat, and you also bumped into a golden mouse that you delivered to your door. Do you think you have the ability? You fool. If you have some brains, the guild has already recommended a lot of family members to you. You must know that in the city of Orari, there are basically no gods who can't find their relatives, only adventurers who can't find their relatives. He faith toast dared to say that, as long as the idiot Hestia went to say hello to the guild, then it would definitely be possible to arrange some new adventurers for Hesti. A. Maybe this will make Hestia's situation difficult at first, but isn't the process of growing up a little bit the biggest reason why the gods are looking for fun in the lower realm? But Hestia, the idiot, almost completely messed up the normal opening situation of every god and even had a tendency to make this situation even worse. Although Hestia's encounter with Bell was a miraculous outcome, it seemed to Hefaith to be nothing more than Hestia's bad luck. Hum. Hestia raised her head and puffed her chest out with smugness. But I have Mr. Bell. A Mr. Bell, isn't it better than those crooked melons and cracked dates that don't know where? You, don't you really think that you don't need to find other relatives in the future? He Faith Toss is starting to get really worried now. Although Bell's child is really good, no matter how good it is, it is impossible for a family to have only that child alone. And now he Faith Toss listened to Hestia's meaning and really did not intend to recruit other followers. 
of course. Hestia nodded without any hesitation at this question. After having Belle, she is indeed not very interested in continuing to find her family, although she knew that as long as Belle grew up, the Hestia family would definitely have the chance to become a great family that could rival the Freya and Loki families. But after that, at least Hestia had no plans to increase her family until Belle fully grew up. My Belkun can definitely surpass Loki's Finn and Freya's Oda in the future. But that was after Belkun grew up. Belkun told me before that he didn't believe in Aluri. Any adventurer from me, so I also plan to recruit other relatives, unless I get Belkun's approval. You, hey! Although he faith Tos wanted to persuade Hestia to think this way, seeing Hestia's eyes that had made a decision made her rest a lot and finally turned into a sigh. There are not no gods who love their family members. It is even said that in the city of Orali, there are many gods who really love their family members, and there are even countless gods who have thoughts of love. But the problem is that most of the love between the gods and the people of the lower world is tragic. But the gods often know this and do it anyway. What they yearn for is not a future that remains unchanged, but a future full of changes that gives them a new encounter. So even if moths fly into the fire in the end, there are still many gods who are happy. Obviously, Hestia looked like one of them. P.S. For collections, for flowers, for evaluation. Celebrating the seven-day National Day holiday and reading books, charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediately rush to recharge. Event time, October 1st to October 7th.